Was it good? Oh, okay. Okay. So I kind of was familiar with the Broadway soundtrack, not too much. Like I never saw it. I like had heard the soundtrack in passing, but I knew who Renee Rapp was because of Broadway's and like theater and stuff. Yeah. It was really good. I liked it. It was funny. Yeah. TikTok's favorite lesbian. <laughs> okay. The lesbians I have no love problem. her. I'd have no problem seeing it. I just don't want to pay money that to see it. It's on Paramount Plus now. <laughs> right, like I I would totally watch it on streaming for sure. It's on Paramount. Just, I don't pay for Paramount. Oh, I want to play it. I want to play for Paramount just because oh God, Smiley's here. I want to. I want to pay for Paramount because I want to see Halo. That's I heard funny. it was bad. No, it is uh, not. Take you. If you play the games, you play the games, you'll love it. it. There it is. That's what it is. Oh, I didn't. Like I've the heard game. the exact opposite. If you play the games, you'll hate it. I disagree. It. I will. Uh, I didn't see it, so I don't have an opinion. And honestly, I don't care. Like I love Halo, but the campaign is. Eh, it's. It's fun. I really cared for the story, I but it's fun. I will say, in season one of Halo, uh, there is a lot of butt cheeks. That's what else <laughs> what I've heard. There's a lot of bare ass, which it is bizarre. Very bizarre, okay, but you get used to it. Listen, we we live through Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, that's also a fair assumption. And the Attitude Era of, of Raw, so we're, butt cheeks are not a thing. That's a problem. <laughs> true. That's true. I would have I would have got Paramount. I've always considered it, but then the uh, that Nickelodeon duck on HBO just maybe never want to watch any of those shows. Oh ever my god! Again. Max, I, I saw it's, it the other week. It's weekend. so sad. I know it's it's such a great documentary, but for all the wrong reasons. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it hurts so bad. Like who yeah. who would have thought Pickle Boy? Me. Molested Drake. Okay, I thought, as a kid, I thought Pickle Boy was weird, but for the sole purpose, I was, like, confused. I'm like, this is a grown man. Why are they calling him Pickle Boy? Pickle Boy? He's just got a giant pile of pickles. See, my, no, my... I understood the pickle part. Like, that was whatever to me, but I was just bothered by them calling him a boy when he was very clearly, like, a 40-year-old man. See, my very yeah. strict, you know, y'all know how I grew up, strict religious Southern family. My mother yeah. saw one segment of the Amanda show and said, no more watching that. And, uh, okay, she got that one right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're on the board. There you go. <laughs> you on the board, Circle Mom. gets the square. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, they're doing a bonus episode uh, this weekend. It comes out yeah. on, on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I, I'm busy. After, what time? Yeah, what time? We're all busy. Uh, probably nine o'clock. So Damn, after me, like, we'll watch. If it's it. like, we if it was like it. during the day, I'd be like, "Yo, will me, you, and Charles, and just watch." I'll, I'm bringing my laptop. <laughs> I know, dude. I don't want to be sad going into Mania. <laughs> like, I, like, yeah, I'm kind of hesitant watch to watching Bray Wyatt's back. documentary before Mania. Oh my god, I watched it today. Oh my god, everybody's <laughs> been raving the, about it. It's, it's so good. Best. I forgot it, dro it dropped. What yesterday? Uh, yes. Monday. Yeah. It's the, all right. I don't know if we're talking about it on the show at all, but if not, we fuck are it. it's not. The there's best. a lot of shit. There's a lot of other shit to talk about. It's the best wrestling documentary I've ever seen. That's that's a bold claim. Um, I loved Andres. Andres was Andres is up there. Okay. Is Vince going? Rick Flair's okay. thirty for thirty. <laughs> okay, Rick Flair's thirty for thirty, Rick Flair's 30, 30, 30 was awesome. <laughs> Rick Flair's thirty for thirty was really Second good. Second to the Andre doc. I forgot about the Andre doc. Oh yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I would also go with Wrestling with Shadows, but that's you know, that's really old by now. Yeah. I've never you seen never it. saw Wrestling with Shadows? It holds up. No, I haven't seen it. It does. came out, what, 98, 99? 99, it came out 99. Yeah. It holds up. It's good. So did Will. <laughs> it's true. No, I was, <laughs> I was uh, 95. 95. <laughs> 
keep this proving clay. Wow, Taquan's out for blood. Taquan, so we have a, <laughs> well, a big group here tonight. I, I like. I think Tuesdays is going to be a good move for us. Taquan's yeah. here. Smiley's here. Yeah, because AEW is not on. Yeah. <laughs> Does it matter at this point? I saw people, the Ariel Hawani interview. It, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yeah, the Ariel Hawani interview was scathing to say the least. Well, yeah. I've only had highlights of it, but uh, same. I haven't watched the whole I like thing Ariel. Yet. People give him no, he's good. I, I like Ariel Hawani. I think he's a good I interview. like how it's an hour and 55 minutes. I don't have I don't have 55 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I like how uh, Punk just admitted to aggravated assault on a podcast <laughs> in an interview. He's like, yeah, I just, so I, I choked him. And nothing. <laughs> the highlight nothing I saw was Punk. He just kept saying, I very politely said. I'm like, did you, though? Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I have the biggest CM Punk mark in the world, but I'm like, come on, bro. Yeah, I was like, oh, I, I guess he could talk about this. All right. It- his bit about hangman was interesting. I didn't hear. Any, I didn't see the hangman. I didn't stuff. hear that either. I, I only. I only read the quote uh, about how like hangman went off script and buried him from like for like firing Colt Cabana because him and Colt Cabana were friends. Well, Colt also yes. sued him. So yeah. yeah, there's that too. So that's that's pretty much why Punk buried Hangman on live TV <laughs> and pretty much killed his whole reign because he went off script in their promo. Yeah, hangman still has not recovered. Have you seen Hangman lately? I haven't watched. No, I know AEW he has. I know he hasn't while. recovered. I watched the. Uh, I watched Revolution. Revolution was a pretty good show. I watched my first AEW match this past Saturday. Um, Matt Cardona and Adam Copeland, and woo, woo, it was woo. good. I, I did you see? If you saw my Twitter, uh, I, I will no longer refer to him as the woo woo guy. That was a fantastic match. That I did see, and. Um, but uh, but it also wasn't enough for me to watch the rest of a Collision. So, <laughs> wow, that's what happens when you put your secondary show on a Saturday. <laughs> I yeah. honestly forgot about Collision until I listened. I saw highlights from the Punk interview. AW Dark? No, thing? I don't believe so. No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I believe it's a no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that experiment failed. Wasn't there Dark and wasn't there like? It was Dark, dark elevation. elevation. Dark Dark, dark elevation, elevation Rampage. All the same show. I can proudly say I've never seen a single episode of Dark Elevation. I saw Dark. Tony Khan's the kind of guy to release five shows on TV and then brag he's getting a, a million weekly And none of, them is, none of them is about <laughs> ROH either. <laughs> <laughs> none of them are ROH. Yeah, none of them are ROHs. But the belts are on TV. <laughs> yeah. ROH belts are the on. The only TV. time oh, I watched God. Dark was because uh, our friend PB Smooth was on the sh- was on Dark. That's fair. Mm-hmm. I re- yeah, you gotta yeah. Ironically, friends. there's a lot of current NXT talent that were featured on Dark. Oh my God, Saquon! I would. Yeah, I totally forgot we're going to the NXT show. Yeah, we but are. I saw it's it's Trick versus uh, Carmelo, so I'm oh, excited yeah. for that. Oh uh, yeah, you should see the video package. The video they had a three part video package last week and it was fan fucking tastic. PB that giant man. Oh, you know of him? I've known him for a very, very long time, Smiley. Um now Trick and Mellow is gonna be wild. They're main eventing over everything. Your your favorite yeah. Italian gimmick, Tony D, is going for the title. Good yeah. For him. I wow. Who's a who's a champion? Ilya Dragunov, yeah. I don't know why I knew that, but I did. Yeah, I think Ilya's Moving on soon. Um, yeah, but it can't be that soon. They can't put the title on Tony D. Not yet. Tony D's not fully developed as a character, which is really crazy to say because he's been in that same character for like three years. I don't understand how we didn't get to a point where it's not Carmelo and Trick for the title. I know they didn't want to take the title off Dragonoff, but that's so much a better story. If that if you throw the title in there, it's a perfect story. Yeah, I it is uh it's interesting cuz I watching the video package um I didn't know Trick was from Philly. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. Yeah, he was running around Philly like seeing all of his family and stuff in the video package like this is pretty wild. This is going to be it's going to be a fun show. I will tell you this well. So, when we got the tickets before we start the show cuz now we're going to start soon cuz I know we have a lot of crap to talk about. Thank you guys for joining us. All Dare I say almost 30 of you guys? That's really cool. Um, so the tickets we bought, we are actually um, behind the entranceway. 
but I don't think that's going to be an issue because looking at the setup and the fact that they were actually selling these, I believe they're going for the minimal approach that they've done with the other uh, mm -hmm. big weekends. Behind the entranceway? What do you mean? So, like, all right, so you remember watching, like, Money in the Bank and Backlash and all of that? And they had, like, that little hallway LEDs? Or Survivor Series in that instance as well in Chicago, where it was like just the LED in like the in like a corridor and they walk through it instead of like the giant screen. It's gonna oh, yeah. be like that, I believe. So. Okay. But we're also gonna be sitting in club next to a steakhouse, so it's gonna be fine. That fucking yeah. rules. <laughs> yeah, I I found these tickets like last week Friday, and it was like when you break it down, it's sixty dollars a person per show. Mm -hmm. I messaged like I yeah, messaged so Will and Charles. How, I was like, "This is not negotiable. I'm sending you the bill right now." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you put it this way? Uh, the cost of our Airbnb is about the exact same of the cost of every single show we're going Correct. to combined. That's fucking crazy. Good for you. Both guys. nights of Mania, and we're doing both yes, nights of are. Mania: Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and Hall of Fame. Damn. Jeez. And all of those tickets combined, <laughs> club seats. Yes, by the way. We're about the same cost of you an Airbnb club every, for five days. You have days. club every night? You damn right we do. Yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking insane. Crazy. <laughs> it's like it's fucking out of this world This is insane. not my first rodeo whatsoever. Yeah. We, yeah. We, yeah. We, I mean, have... we could probably, we could probably sell the, like night, night one tickets for like we six We probably grand. could. We could make a killing. <laughs> Like, it's stupid how much money we can yeah, make. Yeah, the, the, the amount that we can flip these tickets for is going to be absolutely absurd. All right, Smiley, we don't even know if Midwest Mania is official next year, but apparently it might be. That's, That's the, the rumor. rumor. If it's Minnesota, I don't know, Ricky, I feel like I'd rather go to Minneapolis than Vegas. And I never thought in the word I would ever say that yeah, out loud. I, 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 did. I have one of my. Uh... You're almost thirty. That's why. <laughs> I've also been to Vegas. A you lot. go to the for, you go to CES. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, I go there. For, I, I'm there for like three or four conferences yeah, a year. That's why you're tired of Vegas. I get it. I'm not tired of Vegas because I haven't gone there as an adult. I've never all. been. I've never been. Uh, if it's Vegas, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going for to Minnesota. Sure. I want to go to go. You know, I'm if it is Minnesota, I will be going there as well because. Uh, a uh, close, uh, close friend of mine grew up in Minnesota, so I'll just call her and be like, hey, what do I need to know about Minnesota? Where do I need to go? <laughs> Give me all the information. Either way, I'll probably go. Just oh. we, I know it's the Midwest, so I'm not driving there because Will and I did that drive to the Midwest before. And I was, yeah, I'm as fun as it was, Minnesota. probably Absolutely not. not. <laughs> I'm not going around the Great Lakes. All right, that's more than, that's more than a 12-hour drive. <laughs> Ig Chicago is what thirteen? Well, when you guys drove ten to twelve. Okay. We yeah, also drove. Yeah. We also it drove was... that night. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we left Jersey at like six thirty-seven Eastern time and arrived at four in the morning Something Central like time. That, yeah. That's what we did when we went to Nashville a couple of years ago. We left at like ten p.m. on a Wednesday and got to Nashville at like two thirty p.m. the next day. You drove through, did you drive the mountains at night in eastern Tennessee? We didn't, I don't think we went through, I don't remember going through mountains on the way, but the cabin we stayed in post Nashville was in the mountains. Yeah, well, post Nashville is fine because you get into the, to the more conglomerated part. I'm talking going through Appalachia it, it, at night. Whoa. That's I've done that. Of yeah. Yeah. Don't go. I get, well, yeah. <laughs> we were in Virginia, I feel like, all night. Well, Virginia just yeah, sucks that's... in general as a state. Oh, it was. I like every time I take a road trip and have to go through Virginia, it's just so brutal. <laughs> it takes so long. That's why I went to college in Maryland. I just stopped before Virginia. <laughs> it was a <laughs> lot easier that way on my like, I've sanity. driven to Virginia. I've and I've driven. To, I've driven to G Virginia. I've driven to Georgia, and I've driven to Nashville. It was long. So the only thing, Kay, I remember about your trip to Nashville. Is I don't know if it was a story on some social media like Instagram or something, but you posted a story of all of you guys apparently probably going stir crazy at what hour that you guys are driving <laughs> and doing like these massive like off like off tune theme songs of something just screaming at the top of your lungs. Um, we were singing the Circle of Life by Sunrise. That's um, probably what it was. So we. <laughs> 
we still have the playlist from that trip and we still like go back to it the playlist is mostly musical theater because three out of the four people in the car are musical theater nerds that would make sense it's a con we are not going to summon push yeah. t push t made a song called virginia on the clips first album listen to it he knows that virginia's horrible anywho be my me let's get the show on the road shall we will are you ready you know I'm always ready. <laughs> so that means no. <laughs> yeah, I'm roll. I'm rolling there. Rolling here. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Make sure all my right, phone's starting off. in there we go. Yeah. five, four, three, two. Coming up this week on Kings of the Rings podcast, ladies and gentlemen, it is the most wonderful week of the pro wrestling calendar. It is WrestleMania week, and Kings of the Rings podcast is putting on our biggest show of the year, because it's the biggest show of the year, every year, highlighting all the things in and around Philadelphia, including Meek Mill, I guess, <laughs> um, this week here on the show. We've brought a special guest. We've got a gift of a podcast host, Mance has returned for the first time in over a year to help us out with this massive haul that is WrestleMania week. So sit back, relax, get a nice little piece of hydration, a great snack. It's going to be a long ride tonight. Kings of the Rings podcast with Wiz, the WrestleMania Super Show, exclusively on WrestleAddict Radio, and it starts right now. Oh, it feels so, so good to be back. You know why, folks? Because the Yankees are undefeated. The Mets are already playing like trash. <laughs> the Mets are <laughs> the defeated. Mets Stop are it. defeated. It could only mean alone. one thing. It is that it is the best part of the calendar year for me. WrestleMania season. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to King's of the Rings Podcast, episode number 371 with Wiz. I am your host, King Ricky Rose. Thank you guys for joining us. We are live right here on YouTube, uh, Twitter, I don't call it X, and Twitch. Thank you all of you guys for joining us. If you guys like what you are listening it's to, not, no one's calling it an X. I'm not, I'm not succumbing to it. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you like what you're listening to or, or watching at the moment, please like, share, subscribe, leave us some great five-star reviews. This is going to be a very, very long show today, and that's why we brought someone back from the grave of the podcasting hollows of Wrestle Attic Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest assistant general manager of all time, an inspiration to anybody who has ever done a solo podcast. You should look up to this man. Ladies and gentlemen, the it, one, right. the <laughs> only Mance Chapel. Mance, welcome back, sir. Well, thank you. You know, it's a big week when you dust off the old man. Uh, I got one podcast in me a year now, and here it is. Uh, it's good to be here. It's WrestleMania week. I'm actually interested this year. Um, tons going on. And I have the entire weekend off, so I'm doing nothing but staring at a TV. That is yeah. absolutely great. With me, as always, previously seen partying with P. Diddy. Oh, my goodness. It's Will Tereshock. How are you? Uh, so I just typed in x.com and you're not going to like where it brings you. It brings you straight oh, to Twitter. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Crazy. If you type in xx.com, it's like, hey, you can buy his domain name. If you type in xxx.com, you get exactly what you Ooh, think about. hi -oh. And yeah, good thing I don't have an account there. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised you type in x.com, it automatically brings you to Twitter. You think someone would have bought x.com as a domain name or Elon just fucking change it to x.com. Yeah. So, yeah, it's still Twitter.com, so calling it Twitter is still appropriate. Yeah, fair enough, fair, fair enough, fair enough. I'm, I'm Will Tash, yeah, by the say, way, Tisha Thomas, you know who you are? Good, to, good, good to see everybody. <laughs> and finally, back, I think on a more permanent basis now that our schedule is going to be changing, the EST of KLTR, Mix Murphy, Kayfabe, how are you? Hi, everybody. I'm glad to be back. Okay, your enthusiasm from um, here. It I smoked a bun right before this. Slapping. <laughs> Majesty. We're going to have a lot of that this week. 
I smoked a blunt this uh, right before this, and I will have to take an edible about halfway through because that's my bedtime gummy. <laughs> so we're just gonna hope for the best. I'm going to try. I'm gonna try my damnedest to help you survive this haul of a uh, of a show because we do have a lot to go through uh today we got some predictions to do we got to continue our prediction war man you're obviously going to uh join us in that prediction war as well so let's get into all of it uh right now wrestlemania is is packed wrestlemania weekend is packed you know how packed it is i'm gonna show you this graphic right here wwe just released this yesterday the it's a fucking <laughs> six pack dude look at this the shit. wrestlemania yeah. week schedule from Monday, April Fool's Day, which is yes. Oh, dude, dude, dude the yeah. bump? The bump is on Thursday? Let's go to the bump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Why is the bump on the, here? Because the bump, the bump got like... bumped from Wednesdays on YouTube to now Thursdays. They're going to go live from uh, WWE World. <laughs> um, if you look at this whole thing, you have Raw yesterday in Brooklyn. Fantastic show, by the way. NXT uh, tonight, as we're recording the show on April second. WWE Speed for three minute match show, which is got, which is produced by Pete Dunne. Um, the Bump, WWE World on Thursday. WrestleMania kickoff, SmackDown, Hall of Fame Friday, NXT Stand and Deliver, Countdown to WrestleMania, which is the damn pre show. WrestleMania Night One Saturday. The Slammies are 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 Sunday morning. Countdown to WrestleMania again. WrestleMania Night Two. Um. On, on Sunday, Monday, Raw After Mania in Philly. It's about 30 plus hours of WWE content in a week's span. Live content, oh by the way. Oh my God. Live That's content. A lot. Yes. I'm, it's I, too I'm much. getting old because I look at this, I'm like, fuck half of this. <laughs> Not watching dude me that. too <laughs> me too i'm gonna be there for most of it <laughs> it's so true <laughs> like i have i have no, I, don't, I have no desire to watch nxt and yet i'm going i think you'll enjoy it i'm gonna be there it's gonna be fucking awesome i can't wait <laughs> is this your first nxt show since uh since mania 35 Yes, oh, wow. this is this is my first mania. This is my first NXT since it went to the f rainbow colors like three. Oh years yeah, well ago. they went to the rainbow colors for like two seconds and they went back to black and yeah. gold. Yeah, but I haven't been to an actual NXT show probably since what was that? Um, was that NXT? No, it wasn't NXT twenty five. I saw that on TV. It might have been the Survivor Series weekend War Games. Sounds about right. Okay. Yeah, twenty nineteen. Oh, you know oh, when we when we were in Chicago. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yes. That was probably my last NXT yeah, show. No, it's a lot of stuff, and we are going to try to cover most of the stuff, or at least the important things. There's a lot that is going on this week. Uh, and first and foremost, we're going to kick it off with the thing that most of us go to WrestleMania for, is to buy some freaking merch. Okay, WWE Shop, the WWE Superstore. I'll break it down to you real quick right now. It's a WWE Shop come to life. That's really, that's really what it is. It really, it's it really is overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> the amount mm -hmm. of merchandise that they're going to bring to the store, and they're in a convention center this time. It is a massive undertaking. This is where you, this is where you are probably going to lose most of your money. Is in the superstar. There's going to be custom stuff for Mania. Every wrestling belt you can imagine is where I lose all of my money every time I go to Mania. Is going to be at the store. Um, <sighs> A lot of exclusive things, a lot of one of ones. Just ask our old host Dave. He buys a lot of one of ones <laughs> there. I swear to you, in Orlando, my God, he we, he left with like two bags, like two trash bags worth of merch. It was, I'll never <laughs> yeah. forget him trying to yeah, he does do that. print in Brooklyn. Thank God for Charles. <laughs> for Dude, I'll never forget leaving Royal Rumble. He had three belts in his hand, but not one for and his, his pants. pants kept falling <laughs> down. His pants kept falling down. Pants kept falling down. <laughs> It was oh, oh my god. I'm gonna have that in my I'm gonna have that image in my head when we're in Philly again. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. It's so fucking funny. He's was, it's, it's struggling. The, the, su the superstore, I mean, aside from the ability to spend all your money, which uh they got me in New Orleans, they all and they got most of it in New York. Yep. Um in New Orleans, I'm walking in there and I turn a corner and there's cause it's Chico Kata just Hanging out. Oh, I heard about uh, that. Like, I was like, "What the hell's happening right now?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought I was having a moment. 
Uh, and he didn't buy anything, but he was he was literally <laughs> just enjoying the shop. And I was like, did and I was and I thought all weekend, is he Braun Strowman's tag team partner? <laughs> no, nope. It was Nicholas. Ten year old kid. It was Nicholas. It was Nicholas. Womp, womp. Womp. There are womp, some important womp. things that you need to buy at the store, especially if you are going to meeting. It's actually maybe one thing. Well, I'll give you two. The most important thing is they sell a clear bag. And if you're going to any freaking event that weekend, buy yep. yourself a $5 clear bag and, and don't struggle for the rest of your weekend in Philadelphia. That's what I did. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, you can get in. You can get anywhere with it. Yeah. I still use. Mine. Otherwise, otherwise they're gonna stop you, and they might make you check your bag, which is really weird to say yeah, but they do. That happens. The other. I was AEW gonna... made me do it. My backpack. They made me put it like I couldn't bring it into the yeah. building for Arthur Ashe. Really that weird. I remember for Mania Thirty Five. I had that clear flounder backpack. I remember Sebastian. I... You were so happy about that. And they made you <laughs> flounder. Yeah, Mania was the only event that because MetLife would not let us have backpacks, so I had to fucking put it back in the car. Mm -hmm. But every other venue let me have it. It was so good. But I think I bought the clear bag like in the parking lot. Something like yeah. So save yourself the hassle and buy yourself a clear bag. The second thing that you want to do, um, just because it's for a good cause. Connor's Cures bracelets. They're like five dollars. It's like the last five dollars you're gonna spend at the shop because you know why? They put it at the freaking checkout, and they bait you. They <laughs> they bait you with it. They bait you with it, and you're gonna buy it. It's for a good cause. It's for the kids. It's one of the only things WWE still does for the kids these days. Now that blood is back. Um. So so there's that. <laughs> the also, also the thing about the superstar. I'm gonna let you guys in on a really big secret at this as well. Um. A lot of the people at the superstar are local volunteers, so that's how we get back to the local economy. Also, if you talk to the right one. There are discount codes. <laughs> okay, so you if you if you're nice enough, you may be able to get away with some with some discounts there. And I'll, I will leave it at that because I pulled that trick before. Um, so Ricky, I swear to Christ, you should be a travel planner. <laughs> you would be a great Disney travel agent. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I have. To, I'll, leave, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave that to Anne. He's the Disney travel agent at this point. With his uh, his new his new venture Max. at the moment. The other good thing about the WWE Superstore in and of itself, or the WrestleMania Superstore in of, of itself, is that it is separate from the revamped access. So it is open to the public. You can go in there anytime you want. You don't have to go to WWE World or anything like that. Uh, so it is totally separate. You can walk in, walk out. Uh, open to the public. Hours are posted online. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, speaking of which, WWE World is the newest venture. It's the revamped uh, access because Fanatics is sponsoring it. You guys know Fanatics, the maker of bad baseball jersey pants. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, and shirts, dude. You see what we're doing? Sweating tits off? Yeah. Like, what, what, is, what is this jersey made of? Like, actual <laughs> cotton? Like, the fuck is going on with these jerseys? Yes. <laughs> so, so, WWE World uh, is, uh, is essentially their revamped access and Fanatics is uh, fronting the money for it. Uh, from what I've gathered from this and, and WWE World right now is that they're going back to a more traditional model of access. So the last time I was at Mania was in Dallas, uh, the return of Cody. It was, uh, you paid like $10 and it was an all weekend pass. And they combined the Superstore and the access stuff kind of together and any other the, like exhibits or anything like they had an Undertaker exhibit you had to pay money to go into and stuff like that. And there was a bunch of free stuff. This time around, they're doing more of a traditional model where it is you pay for a session or you pay for a day or like an evening ticket or whatever. And you go in and you have all of this stuff and the activities and stuff vary uh, for for each um, for each day. And you'll also be have the opportunity to get autographs and get pictures. So it's going to remind me, I believe, Will, since you are going to be there, um, it's going to remind me a little bit more of when we were in New York. So remember when we were in New York and you had to be online and get all yeah. the pictures? Okay, you were there too as well, obviously. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then yeah. you had the autograph line, you had the photo lines. It's gonna, it's That's what it seems like it's going to be. Uh, and luckily for you guys, there is a lot of different things going on each day. So I'm going to pull this up right now. I'm going to tell you exactly what the show is going to feature. You're going to have Superstar Row with all the autographs and uh, and stuff like that, and autograph stages and pictures. There's going to be a kids zone because WWE is for the kids, remember, uh, where you can do kid stuff, a DIY craft zone, a dance floor, face paint for the kids. Will, you should get your face painted. Um, 
I'll do it. Why not? <laughs> this is an make me like Ultimate Warrior. It'll be fun. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to buy you tassels. You can just like run around. <laughs> You're like, who do you, who do you want your face to be painted like? Eric Bischoff. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing what? here, uh, I think this might interest you probably, K more so than, than anybody else here. They're, ha- they're having here, what I'm reading is a tattoo pavilion. What? So it says, take your fandom to the next level with our friends from Ink Fusion Empire. Take your pick from one of our pre-designed <laughs> tattoos and get... And get inked up that WWE world. Stop! I would absolutely I would do that. Totally. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I almost got tattooed at this music festival I went to over the summer. I ended up like being like, "No, I'm mm-hmm. getting a dog. I have to be responsible." So that's going to be that's going to be every day of it. WWE world, and I don't know if it's like. It seems like it's actually legit tattoos that they're doing. So I don't know if it's what the prices are going to be, or if it's part of like your general admission ticket. I'm very interested to see how that's going to to go down. My guess is you would probably pay Tip. for the tattoo. Maybe. Yeah. And then. Doesn't it take like a while to do tattoos? Depends on the though? tattoo. The flash is probably little to no color, and it's like probably simple line work. It's not going to be a fucking crazy portrait. Yeah, no, it's not going to be anything wild. I don't think. Like. I could see them doing like Punk's logo, like, like WWE the, logo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably the DX, the NWO, just simple stuff that you should not get tattooed on your body, but you're there and you're gonna. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> I want CM Punk's Pepsi logo. <laughs> Pepsi Punk, uh, Smiley. I want a tattoo for Punk, but I don't know what I would get. Smiley's bringing up a uh, Smi- well. Smiley's bringing up a good uh, reminder for you. I know. Biff, I saw you ran when you saw uh, Biff, Biff Busick. Busick. Dude, I he's like, I saw my oh, name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got like so upset. Only yeah. working. Good old Biff. Hey man, you biffed. You still biffed. Now he's back up. I bet if I say it now, I'd be like, hey, thanks, man. Also here at the WWE World every day is obviously going to be able to do superstar entrances, which are always fun to watch when people try to do our entrances. They are fun to watch. Of different superstars, it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, so. Those are the everyday events. On day one, Thursday, it's going to be the 2K4 gaming tournament. 2K24 gaming tournament is going to be done live. Uh, I haven't bought it yet. What's up? I'm not even bought it yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably it, buying uh, it there. <laughs> I'm buying it. End of April, I'm okay. buying it. You also have the main stage. Because they're going to be like, it's, it's going to be an interesting con type of vibe. The main stage is going to have Cody Rhodes and Rey Mysterio. Friday, the day we're going, Will, uh, the Pat McAfee show. The world famous Pat McAfee show on ESPN. Are you yeah, going to see good. the Pat McAfee? It is going. We're we are. Will Will myself and Sir Charles are all going to be there um, on Friday. The Pat McAfee show is going to be streaming live from WWE World. Triple H is the special guest as well hmm. for that. Good old Paul Levex. That same day, you're going to have the Up Up Down Down Xavier Woods gaming uh, YouTube page. The Up Up Down Down um, live stream. With Xavier Woods, Tyler Breeze, who was miraculously still employed by WWE, um, he is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what what surprising like witchcraft Xavier Woods pulled, but Tyler Breeze is contracted to WWE as he's the guy who was Xavier Woods' partner on the YouTube page. So he's literally there just to do the YouTube stuff. Mm-hmm. That's I he was a trainer. Fast. Still, he has know? his own school. He he owns uh, Flatbacks with um, Sean Spears. Ah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Sean Spears is employed there now. Too. Yes, he does. He yes, he does. He um, this is <clears throat> insane. And, and then on the main stage that day on Friday, it's going to be Becky and Seth. Saturday, Drew McIntyre is going to take the main stage with Randy Orton and Charlotte Flair. Uh, we're doing a panel on Saturday about the Bray Wyatt uh, documentary. Interesting. Sunday is the Slammy. <laughs> Slam is going to be streaming live. Um, this is a Christmas tradition. They're messing with the holidays. Listen, I'd rather have it at Mania than any time other than that. Uh, I think it would make sense to do it at SummerSlam. <clears throat> Sla- SummerSlam, Slammies. Summer- I get it. Slammies. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Rhea Ripley is going to be on the main stage on uh, on Sunday. And then, there, for all you figureheads, CM Punk is going to be doing the, Mattel fa- the uh, WWE Mattel Elite Squad panel. Because I got to give Punk something to do. Monday, because remember, this is also on Monday. It's just Bianca Belair, Jay Uso, and LA Knight, which may be giveaways to somebody who win on those nights of WrestleMania for them. But now, what we're all actually waiting for is who are you going to be able to take photos 
and autographs and get autographs from for every day of WWE World. On Thursday, you will be able to get photos from Pete Dunne, Carlito, Don't Hinder the Gender, Jinder Mahal. Yeah. I'm so pissed about that. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon Lee, Chelsea Green, my third favorite Canadian, um, Maxine Dupree, Johnny Gargano. I have like seven pictures with him. Um, JD McDonough, Tommaso Ciampa, and Ivy Nile. You will be able to get huh. autographs from on Thursday from Finn Balor. This breaks my heart. Jade Cargill. Um, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. man. Uh, autographs from Kofi Kingston, Bobby Lashley, The Miz, Shinsuke Nakamura, Damian Priest, and AJ Styles. Those you- autograph only? Autograph only. Photos are who I said earlier, which is Pete Dunne, uh-huh. Carlito, Jinder, Dragon, <laughs> yep, Chelsea. Yep, I Bob. heard that. All right. Friday, when we're going well, get yourself ready. Um, Friday, you'll be able to get pictures with Grayson Waller, uh, who you don't know. Yeah, Grayson okay. Waller, MVP, which is a very big cool get. Nice. MVP, Zelina Vega, uh, Otis, Candice LeRae, Apollo Crews, Tyler Bates, uh, Karrion Cross, Yes Will, and also Scarlett, <laughs> um, and Roxanne Perez. He was going to be featured uh, later on that oh, the next day at, uh, at uh, Stand and Deliver. We'll be able to get autographs from on Friday. This is actually pretty excited for this. From Biggie, from Gunther, from JBL. Oh, Ooh. yeah. That's a good list. Nia right Jax, Naomi, Austin Theory, and Sami Zayn for Friday cool. autographs. Very excited about Saturday. Saturday photos will be from Carl Anderson, hot Asian wife not included, uh, Zoe Stark, <laughs> Julius and Brutus Creed, Meech and Mia Yim, Piper Niven, B-Fab, Katana Chance, and Caden Carter, and Joe Gacy as well. Uh, Saturday autographs include Carmella, who apparently is ready to go, uh, Sonia Deville, Daddy Deville, Chad Gable, Omas, who was in a food eating challenge with Otis on YouTube live earlier today? Uh, oh. Bronson Reed, EO Sky, and Big Burly Brown Strowman, who's probably also ready to go. Oh man. All right. Photos for ch- ch- photos for Sunday include Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes, Ludwig Kaiser, Giovanni Vinci, Andrade, Tyler Breeze, Indy Hartwell, Oba Femi, who you will love when you see him live, Will. Um, Thea Hale and Odyssey Jones. Sunday. Autographs include Baron Corbin, DDP, Raquel Rodriguez, Tiffy Time, Tiffy Stratton, and R Truth. Monday photos for the last day of WWE World will include Cora Jade, Trick Williams, Tegan Knox, Luke Gallows, Rich Holland, who I thought retired, uh, Aikoman Razor of AOP, Alba Fire, Noam Dar, Alicia Fox, not Alicia Fox, sorry, and Lyra Valkyria. Uh, <laughs> And Monday autographs will include The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford, King Coda, Dakota Kai, Liv Morgan, Kevin Owens, Kyrie Sane, and Xavier Woods. That is the exhaustive list of photographs and 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 autographs for WWE World card, obviously subject to chains. Well, what are your thoughts on that? Dude, I think the only photo I want is of Raquel Rodriguez's back. <laughs> just her doing the, the back pose. The picture of me is going, holy shit. <laughs> That's it. I, dude, honestly, like, I don't like paying for photos. It's just a weird thing I have. Like, I, It's hard. To, I suppose like Jim, uh, Superfly Snooker again. Not Superfly Flooker, the other one. Uh, the Dragon. Yeah, Steamboat. Rico Dragon Steamboat. Soft, 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 soft hands ever, business. my goodness. So like, there's very few people I'd like, actually want to pay for a picture yeah. for. I, I'm cool if there's going up shaking their hands saying hi. Autograph is different. I'll put money down for an autograph. But yeah, the only person I want a picture with is Raquel Rodriguez. Well, back. you're gonna have to pay for another <laughs> for another day of WWE World. <laughs> Kay, who are you most excited to not be able to see? Right. <laughs> um, I am most excited to not see our truth. Really? Because we love him. Oh, okay. I would love I w- if I were to have met anybody that weekend, it would have been our truth. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. I, didn't you get a picture with R Truth? Um, whoops, sorry, where are you? Didn't you get a picture I, with R Truth? I did not. No. No, you didn't. I didn't meet R Truth. I did. did not meet R Truth. Were you not with us no, that day? Because th- I have a picture with R Truth from Access. When the fuck did you meet R Truth? At Access in New York. The same day I went? Didn't you go more than once? 
It, I think, yes, we did, but I also... I only you did more than once. I went on Monday. I yeah, I don't remember when it was. I don't... I, I'm trying I to remember if I remember meeting our truth. Archer being there. Yeah. I remember we met, we met uh, Ali, Ali, what's his name? Mustafa. 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 But that was in New Orleans. Oh, that was in New Orleans. Yeah, it was in New Orleans. Um, it was when he first got into WWE. Uh, but but Mr. Mr. Mance here, sir. Who would you yes. who would you be excited to see at WWE World of, of that exhausted uh, list? Of that exhausted list, you gave me one name, re- well, two names hit my ears and sounded like someone I really want to meet. One, Jay Cargill. Oh, oh, um, oh yes. yes. <laughs> but, but Diamond Dallas Page. Okay. A man I've watched since uh, uh, I've met so many of the WWE guys over the years doing uh, doing WrestleManias and WrestleCon and whatnot. Never come across Diamond Dallas Page, and this that that was a name that struck me as yeah okay that's the one I want to meet. Very fair, very fair. I've met DDB. He's a big man. He's like six five. Yeah. Tall, very very yeah. tall. And, and he was in the land of giants, so I'm thinking yeah he's probably average height person. No, no, he's but. not. <laughs> he is. He is not. He will probably also try to promo DDP yoga, which does wonders. I will admit. I have. I already have the book and the discs in the house, so yes. you can't get it. Dude, he he loves Hawkins. He show. does. <laughs> he that loves line Hawkins was DDP so yoga. long for DDB because he wouldn't stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it, it worked really out long. because we were all really hung over. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest cheeseburger I've ever so had. So glad you said over. Yeah, we were very hung over. We that's when we first met you. We did the show in in the in our tube in the in the loft. And we were mm-hmm. we were all wrecked from the night before. <laughs> I I wasn't. This was pre delight days. It so was pre delight days. I was designated driving ants ass all over New Orleans. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I made a little bit of coin from those idiots. As, as you should have, as you should have. Uh, speaking of WWE World, as we obviously like we said before earlier, the Slammy Awards are going to be uh, be streaming live. From WWE World on Sunday, and I figured since we're doing a lot of predictions, I it's really hard <laughs> to predict bonus stuff for WrestleMania and and things like that in general. Seeing we're doing kind of double predictions, so I thought our bonus points for our for our uh, sh- uh, predictions for all of the pe- pay per views and PLEs will be predicting the winner of all the Slammies. So that's what we are going to do right now. There are. There are 11 categories of slammies. There's about 13 matches on Mania. There's a, an extra like four or five matches on Stand Deliver. It is a big point weekend for this prediction battle. Jesus yes. Christ. Currently, Will is leading the pack uh, at 17. I am at 15. Kayfabe, you are at 13. So it is still anybody's game right now. So let's start with the bonus points for the slammy, starting with female superstar of the year. Your choices are Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Io Sky, and Becky Lynch. Mance, you don't have a uh, you don't have a you know you don't have a fight in this, but who would you pick for female superstar of the year? I mean, how would one pick anyone but Rhea Ripley from that list? Yes, Bailey won uh, the Royal Rumble. Yes, Io is is the the not SmackDown champion. Uh, WWE women, women's de- yeah. women's champion. Um, you don't not pick mommy off that list. So <laughs> it is Rhea Ripley. Fair, fair enough. Kayfabe. I am also picking mommy because obviously. Very good. Mr. Tarashuk. You know, this is actually is not as easy for me. Oh. Um, because it's hard to argue against Becky Lynch. Ooh. She's, she's had, she's had more memorable okay. feuds, right? The whole thing with Nia is better. Her matches, honestly, have had more builds than uh, Rhea Ripley's work. If you're going off character development and who I want to see on TV, it is Rhea Ripley because her character work with Judgment Day is so good. Her promos are so good. She helped get Dom to be over as a major heel so well. The problem with Rhea Ripley is she has no one to work with. She has no one to dance with. I can't tell you who she beat other than, like, um, Zelina Vega in Puerto Rico in like a just hey you're a fan favorite match. She hasn't had many characters and stories around this title outside of Becky Lynch. 
Becky Lynch has always been relevant. You want to see her. She had that whole thing with Trish. She made the women's division relevant and gave us something, Ricky, we have wanted on the show for years, which is a women's feud without the title. And Becky Lynch had fucking two of them. It's Becky Lynch. All right. I'm not going to think with my brain. I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough. To be fair, on WWE.com, I vote for Rhea Ripley. Can I, can I piggyback off uh, Will saying yeah, that ahead. Rhea yeah. hasn't had much? I don't think that Rhea hasn't had much because they're still not done with her. Like, I think they're saving her for Jade. Like, Jade, Jade and Rhea is fucking money. Like, yeah, absolutely. just because she hasn't had as many uh, memorable feuds compared to Becky does not mean she's not going to. Like, it's coming. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Like, it's like any problem I have, a quote unquote problem with Rhea Ripley, it's not her fault. No, false. not at all. Like, everything she has been giving, she has knocked out of the park. She just hasn't been given enough to really elevate Stop that title. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wish we could sound by that. That was really good. Um, moving on. Oh, I can. Let me your audio. <laughs> <laughs> moving on, we have Male Superstar of the Year, which will consist of uh, Adrenaline in My Soul, Something Something, Cody Rhodes, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, Seth, I Don't Know How to Dress Freaking Rollins, uh, Gunther, and Logan Paul is also in the mix. So we're going to go We're gonna go backwards here. Um this one's actually pretty hard, but again, not thinking with my brain, Cody Rhodes. Well, Tarashak, who do you have? I agree, Cody Rhodes. Uh, Roman hasn't been on TV enough, and Seth, he's just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Seth, dude. That's it's just not like, annoying. Seth, I like Seth, but it's just like, he's such a, dude, Seth is such a fucking pick me. <laughs> well, Seth, so, I mean, we do have, we in, in Seth's defense, he did pick his way to a world title. It is the shut up Seth Rollins. Here's a world title, world title. He got yeah, what he wanted. Like he's it worked. Great. <laughs> yeah. He's so, he's great, but it's like, dude, you're such a fucking pick me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's true. The guy I said it was better has had a better year. I forget who it was, but uh, Cody. Yeah. Cody. He's the big baby face. He's the massive yes. baby face. Okay. Favor. Are you going to join us? He's the one you want to join us and be a Cody cry baby. Who are the other nominees? Cody, Seth, Roman, Logan who? Paul, and no. and Gunther. It's definitely not Logan Paul. Um, I feel like it's Cody also. Like he's done a lot. He's gonna continue to do a lot. Roman's like Will said. Roman's never on TV. Logan Paul's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's a s- really smart good, idiot though. though. So good. I hate that Prime is a fucking ad. (laughs) I hate it too. It is what it is. I hate it too. (laughs) Mance, who you got? Who you got as male superstar of the year? Give us some clarity here. If we're going strictly off actual what has happened this year, you can go Cody Rhodes, but honestly, Gunther is the most prolific of them and had the best match of the last year. Granted, it was a year ago, Mm -hmm. the triple threat at Mania. I'm going to go Gunther. I'm probably wrong, but I'm going to... My heart says Gunter. And we're going to go that way. Fair enough. Fair enough. And you didn't say L.A. Knight as one of the candidates. Because he's not one of the candidates. Yeah. He's, he's, not. <laughs> he's not. They dropped the ball. He's not. He's not at all. Um, next, we're going to go to an interesting category. Best entrance. Who had the best entrance this year? You have Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, uh, Bianca Belair, Seth Rollins, Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch, The Rock, or Dominic Mysterio from WrestleMania 39, the prison dom entrance. So, oh, I loved Prison Dom. So, so, man, it's, it's, it's on you. I forgot that happened. Okay, so they, they're establishing we can go all the way back to Mania last year. Correct, yes. In that case, it is Bianca Belair and her troop of da- of, of dancers. Uh, and they I know the story. About the, li- yep. the little girl. The, if you, how do you not pick that? that? It's Bianca Belair. It has to be. Fair enough. Okay, Fave. Um, I would agree Bianca, but also where the fuck is Punk? Sorry. He didn't do anything. He walked out and some guy yelled Chicago 44th time in his ear. <laughs> Chicago. 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 Yeah. Oh, man. My, my That's all you have, dude. Like, you're on TV. You get what you want. You just got to say Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> we know where you are, dude. It's kind of like your Where's... thing. Like, we love you get Chicago. It. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, 
My heart picks CM Punk yelling Chicago a thousand times, but I'm actually going to pick Bianca as well. Okay. <laughs> well, who do you got? What were the other options? It was Cody. Cody what? It's Cody. It's the, only, the only thematic entrance is Dom Dom for WrestleMania 39. Oh, okay. So it's just over. It's not specific entrance. It's just a like their general, ran, their general, general entrance. entrance of the year. Yeah. God, it's so stupid. That's a stupid award. It should be a specific entrance. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the woe is so huge. I, can't wait to, I cannot to wait to hear the woe at Mania. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. Honestly, can I, can I pick the woe and not Cody? Can I pick specifically the woe? <laughs> it's Cody. So you're picking Cody. <laughs> it's Cody. I'm, you're I'm picking, picking Cody. Cody. That's I'm perfectly fine. Cody. I'm, I, yeah. I want to pick Cody, yeah. but The Rock's new entrance is absolutely absurd. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it, is. it is excellent. I can't wait to see that at WrestleMania. Jesus Christ. I I feel like they're gonna have like a giant Liberty Bell because I I refuse to see the stage before we're actually there. But I have a feeling they're gonna do like a giant Liberty Bell and he's gonna like crack the bell with like a lightning strike or something like that. Oh, <laughs> that it's gonna be so ridiculous. It's gonna be so absurd. So absurd. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, next one on the docket. We have this is where you're gonna pick CM Punk kayfabe. So I'm not gonna say anything. Return of a year. <laughs> Return of a year. CM Punk. Th- it's CM Punk. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's CM, CM Punk. Right. Anybody it's else CM. care? All right, we cool. We can move on. <laughs> I can, I'm, I'm trying to think of a joke. I can't even think of a joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other the other honorable mentions are The Rock, Nia Jax, Randy Orton, or Naomi. Naomi's a close second for me. Randy Orton was really good because I kept thinking, wow, he is Huge. fucking humongous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is somebody so overplayed big. Randy Orton. Yeah. Naomi's a close second, but it's it's, it's gonna be punk in a clean sweep. So we're just gonna we're just gonna move on from that. The, the problem with Naomi. I mean, the rock I would the rock I would say which time. Because <laughs> the rock like when Pat McAfee introduced him out of nowhere and he has destroyed Austin Theory. Yeah. That one was a great return. Yeah. The, the problem with Naomi is that six minutes later, Jordan Grace overshadowed the whole thing. Yeah. And then 20 minutes later, was... Jade Cargo came out and stole the show. Yes, I broke that one too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so there's all about the next one is uh is Faction of the Year. And Faction of the Year consists of the Judgment Day, a thank you, Alpha Academy, Imperium, the Bloodline, and Damage Control. Just think about this one. We're gonna go, we're gonna go to you, Mance. Uh, okay, um, God, I want to say judgment, or uh, damage control so bad, but I really, really think it's judgment day, because they're still holding those titles, all four of them have been champions, they've all got major matches at WrestleMania, it's just judgment day. Yeah, yeah. Well, are you, well, are you agreeing? I'm agreeing, because I'm going to also add that all of them are over, right, every single one of them, is, is Dakota Kai over, really? Um, but Judgment Day, all of them are over, and they had our truth <laughs> that going a little bit extra yeah. longer. And our like the our truths is like that sixty minutes walk with the ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be in Judgment Day. It was just fucking ridiculous. This <laughs> like, must be yeah, what I, Genuine I, I, felt when he wrote Pony. <laughs> yes. like, like, what are you talking about? So if you include our oh truth, it's a it's a judgment. Yeah, Kayfabe, day. what do you got? Um, I am including our truth, so and I am day. voting for the Judgment Day. I'm sorry, our truth. The Judgment Day was doing great without our truth, but our truth has just put them to another level. <laughs> that is, that that is and true. There must our truth for me is must see TV every week. Yes, he yes, he he is he's he's the reason that the rating and our truth came back at at Survivor Series, and it, he wasn't even in the category at all, which is kind of. Kind of a shame. shame. Kind of a shame. <laughs> I hope somewhere, I hope somewhere Adam Copeland is happy because his experiment worked. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, Matt Carter to beat the shit out of him, so he may not be terribly happy, but. To, 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 and the crowd went mild because there was not that many people there. But <laughs> those 46 people were thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> they were on the edge of their seats. <laughs> Absolute edge of their seats. Next is rivalry of the year. So best rivalry of the year. We got Seth freaking Rollins, who doesn't actually care about Drew McIntyre, so that's technically a rivalry. Uh, Dirty Dom versus Ray. Bianca versus Damage Control. Didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, Roman versus Cody. And R-Truth versus Judgment Day. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. I'm are you going on the R Troop train still? Yeah, I am. I I, I, under, I understand. Well Tara Shock. It's hard to vote against Roman Cody. The special but I, I do I loved Dom and Ray. I thought Dom and Ray was so good because Dom is still getting booed out the ass out of Do every you know? Do just, you know how over Dom getting booed is? Oh, it's no, so no, no. over. Did you you didn't see the video, did you? He got no. booed at his own wedding. It's so <laughs> funny. I did, see that. I did see that. Yeah, Damien Damien Priest boot started the boot started booing yeah. at the wedding, which fucking yeah. amazing. So I got I gotta go Ray Dom because Dom has been elevated so much, and for to have it rivalry of the year, I think a rivalry needs to finish. And Cody's and Romans is still ongoing. Yeah, fair enough. Man, Chapel, who you got? Ah, uh, that last point you just made about a rivalry needs to be finished, and the, the story isn't finished. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with our truth and the Judgment Day because that one is finished, and. Uh, <laughs> It worked out pretty well for the Miz somehow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Will you get to see Awesome Truth? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> With their really crappy handshakes. All right, this is probably going to be a category that Mance and I pre- know pretty much better than anybody else here. Uh, NXT Superstar of the Year. We have Ilya Dragunov, uh, him known as Carmelo Hayes, uh, Lyra Valkyria, Tiffy Time, and Tiffany Stratton, and Braun Breaker. So Mance, I'm putting this to you. Hang on, include Trick Williams. It did not include Trick Williams. It's very, depra- very that disappointing. List, that list is incorrect. However, it makes my decision easier. It's Tiffany Stratton. Tiffy time. <sighs> that's that's that that is that is a good point. Kayfabe, try your hardest. Flip a coin if you have to. I, I actually was also going to say Tiff Stratton just because she went up to the main roster this year, mm-hmm. and like I'm sure she'll do very well eventually. Yeah, I mean they they trusted her so much they put her in an elimination chamber. Yeah, she's exactly. very over. Yeah, yeah, she's doing well, and they're already trusting her with like important matches. Yeah, I didn't know she was a freak. She's doing something right. I didn't know she was like pretty much in in the, on like the Olympic gymnastics team or was like in like the finals for it. Like, oh, that's crazy! I didn't know that. Either. Yeah, she she's <laughs> Tiffany Stratton is what Dana Brooke was supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, wow. <laughs> find the lie. <laughs> find the lie. And is there is no lie. Is very like very it's, it's not right now. So yes, exactly. Mm. Uh, so Will Tarashak, who are you going with? I'm going go with Carmelo Hayes. He's the one you talk about the most. Yeah, because because he was Christian Casanova because we sponsored his final match on the Indies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he's he's the one. As someone who doesn't watch NXT, Carmelo Hayes has the most buzz by far. Like when Tiffany debuted, I knew nothing about her. I I maybe knew her. She had name. a fantastic match with Becky. Yes. Yeah, and now she is she is very much someone I know now. Like they did a very good job of making me know her, not forgetting yeah. her. And she's definitely going to be over for a very long time. But I just never knew anything about her. Carmelo Hayes, I I I know a lot about, and I don't watch yeah. the products, so it's got to be Carmelo. He is him. I'm going to go with Melo as well, just because you know. We sponsored a spawn match. That's kind of the, also the reason I'm upset he's not on our day for like autographs and photos. Yeah. I'd be like, hey, we sponsored your last match before you went to the Indies. I mean, before you went to NXT. Like, we're 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 part of your success story, sir. He DM'd <laughs> us too mm-hmm. when we uh, when he found out we sponsored his stuff. So he's really happy for that. Next category, which apparently is not the final category in this order, match of the year. Okay, so match of the year mm. categories. We're gonna start with you, Kayfabe. Match of the year categories include uh, San Benito Bad Bunny versus Damian Priest at uh, the San Juan Street Fight Street Fight from Backlash. Uh, Roman versus Sammy at Elimination Chamber in Montreal. Uh, oh. Gunther versus Chad Gable for the IC title on Raw when he made his daughter cry real tears. Um, Oscar versus Bianca versus Charlotte Triple Threat at SummerSlam. And Charlotte versus Rhea from WrestleMania 39. Have at it, Kay. Huh. That's hard. Um, I fucking loved Bad Bunny and Damian Priest. Mm-hmm. 
I loved the Puerto Rico pay per view overall, but I will have to say my match of the year was Roman and Sammy. That massacre about it was. I get it. Oh my god, it was beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful destruction. Well, Tara Shock. Depends what you like more about wrestling, the story or the wrestling. Um, typically, I go with the story, mm-hmm. but that's I'm going with the wrestling. Uh, Charlotte and um, Rhea completely stole the show. Yeah, man. They're yeah. like, they're like, yeah, the tag team match is coming on next that everyone wants to see. We're just gonna make you wish you have to wait a little bit longer <laughs> to see it first. Yeah, because that match is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I watched that the other day. They were streaming it on YouTube. I watched that the other day. Uh, Man Chapel, who do you got? Whoever makes this list of nominations, we got heat. I, I know, have, I know which again, one. I know which one you're missing. It's it's the triple threat for the IC it's title. The triple threat for Mania for the IC title. Yep, <laughs> it was the best match mm-hmm. of the year. But I agree, it's not on the list. I'm going with what I consider the second best WWE match of the year, and that is Gunther and Chad Gable. My God. Uh, it, it, the only way it could have been better is if Chad Gable had won the title, but it wouldn't give us the rest of the year. But it's still of this list, my match of the year. Very fair, very fair. I, I, whew. I wish, I wish the IC title triple threat was on there, but it's not. But the Sammy Roman story was great. I still, there's some the Charlotte Rhea match has staying power because it was a fantastic match built on a crap story. And it took mm-hmm. everybody by storm. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What it was happened. a fantastic match over on a crap story, um, which is a shame to both of them. But they made it work in the weirdest way possible to the point where I was like, "We need Charlotte Rhea too, or Charlotte Rhea three Technically, at Vicious Mania, obviously it did not occur, and Charlotte's busy literally grilling in Mexico. If you've seen the videos on TikTok, it's fantastic. Um, she's doing a decent job. She's doing a great I mean, job. Looks, I'm not gonna lie. Good. I'm not gonna lie. Andrade, Andrade saw her well. Um, but I'm going to go with Charlotte and Rhea as, as well with this. Uh, three more three more categories to go in our bonus things. It'll be really a pain to kind of figure out a couple weeks afterwards. We have the OMG moment of the year, the thing that made you say, oh, my God. Uh, Not a goddamn one of them. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Before you read the list. Yes. Shame at man's leg falling off at WrestleMania, and then Snoop Dogg winning the match. It's not there. It's not there. <laughs> no, I forgot that happened. It was happened. so funny. <laughs> it was the last thing I liked about that I WrestleMania. I forgot that, too. Oh, my God. Okay. We have Ray punches Dom on SmackDown before Mania when he hit his mom. That is that is a fucking great yeah. one. Um, mm-hmm. I Kay, your choice is already there. CM Punk returning at Survivor Series. I know your choice. Okay. <laughs> EO Sky, ca- <laughs> EO Sky cashing in at SummerSlam. Uh, the Rock slapping Cody Rhodes at the press conference. Um, Oof, that's a good one. Too. Yeah. Damage control turning on Bailey and then Cody Rhodes slapping The Rock. It's okay. I know you're taking CM Punk's return. I don't blame you. I am also going to go CM with Punk's CM Punk's return. Cody, Cody slapping The Rock was great, though. Yeah, you know why Cody slapping The Rock was great? Because The Rock had an audible reaction to getting slapped in the face. Like, it was awesome. Keep my wife's name away. (laughs) (laughs) Wrong wrong guy. Wrong guy. (laughs) All right. So. uh, It's CM Punk. It's it's got to be be Punk. I think I screamed in my microphone when Punk returned. (laughs) I must have woke my neighbors. It it was a late night at work because it was. It was. Right after Thanksgiving, we were backed up. Mm-hmm. I worked at the postal office for people who don't know. Um, and so I'm at my desk watching Survivor Series on my phone. And in the middle of this empty, echoless uh, post office, you, you could have just heard me go, son of a bitch. Because <laughs> I never <laughs> thought. It, like, Kay and I were texting during the show. Yeah. And, and there was no way. And we had both given up. <laughs> Because they had done, they had put the little logo in the screen. The lower third. The, the lower third. And, and you should know better because that's I'm mad what, I fell for it. We all did. That, that, I mean, we all did. We it, it, we shouldn't because that's what Chapa killed Gargano. Yes, that's it is. When Owens killed Sammy. Yes, yes oh, it yeah, is. The, 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 the and so I, and then it kicked on. And nope, if it's not that moment, then my standards are way too high. <laughs> I was about to turn it off. We all were. Yeah, we all were. Dude, the next one is going to be it fades to black and then it comes back, <laughs> like a, like an end credit scene from Marvel. <laughs> yes, literally. 
Because they have they done that, like, the lower third graphic a few times yeah. in the past few years. They got to fade it to black, and then Michael Cole goes, oh, my God, and they got to rush to bring it back. I, I would like that. They, they did the Marvel thing at the end of the Bray documentary. Oh, I did. I, I heard about that. Um, so yeah, there's that. I remember I remember CM Punk returning, and I immediately called Kay, and I was like, are you okay? Like, are, are you all right? <laughs> do, you need, do you need assistance? Do you need to go to the hospital? <laughs> I was like, by the way, here's a link to the CM Punk merchandise shirt. <laughs> and I and here it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I turned to my dad. I was like, you see how big Randy Orton is? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching with Charles uh, online, and we saw Randy and Charles goes, I got to get back to the gym. <laughs> yeah, dude. We, I almost did the same thing. I was like, goodness gracious. All right. So uh, last of uh, final two. This one is social star beard, a person with the biggest social media presence, even though half of us don't really use it. Uh, Grayson Waller, Logan Paul, Drew McIntyre, Chelsea Green, and Liv Morgan. Kayfabe. I was taking a picture of Boris, so I wasn't listening. Did you repeat the question? Social media superstar of the year. Grayson. I don't fucking know. I will say Grayson Waller, Logan Paul, Drew McIntyre, Chelsea Green, Liv Morgan. Um... I don't follow any of them on social media. You so I'm should just gonna follow guess and say Drew McIntyre. I will tell you that right now. Um, no, I will not be following Drew McIntyre oh, at this time. You're hurt because of the punk stuff. I understand. He's currently bullying my boy, <laughs> so I will not be giving him a follow. <laughs> so you're going Chelsea? He has been thrown. <laughs> He's been thrown off the daddy list. I forgot Drew McIntyre was a daddy. He's thrown off the daddy list. <laughs> Drew McIntyre has been erased from the dad list <laughs> until further notice. So we're going with Chelsea Green. We're going with Chelsea Green <laughs> just because I have nothing to base it on. Yes. Well, Tara Shock, you don't use social media at all. Who are you going with? I'm also going with Logan Paul. I mean, well, you're not. You're the not also got... going with Logan Paul. You're the only one going with Logan Paul. <laughs> oh, I'm the only one. I'm the only one with Logan Paul. He is. Uh, no, it's Logan Paul. Right. Look at him. He's got famous off social media. That's true. I will say this. I would, I would have picked Drew McIntyre. However, however, I was live streaming Raw a while ago, and Chelsea Green wasn't on the show. And Chelsea decided to live live tweet Raw with the rest of the Twitter wrestling community, and it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. She, I know, I know she, I, I know she has been really good. It was unbelievable. That's why I'm going with Chelsea Green. Absolutely fantastic. She, she kept shitting on Pierce and all of the decisions that he made. She started a free Chelsea Green hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> like Chelsea Green is phenomenal. Um, last but not least, final Slammy. I don't get oh, to my, pick, my, I didn't pick anybody. My, 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 I, I forgot, man. I, my apologies, sir. My apologies. It's been a while. <laughs> Who, who, who do you got? Social media superstar oh. of the year. Now, I'm also going with Logan Paul. Wow. Uh, just because factually, I th I think just by numbers, I think that's the actual answer. Fair. But if he's not there to be the social media guy and to get the sweet prime sponsorship, which is going to drive me fucking bonkers next weekend. Oh, it's going to piss me um, off, too. No, it's Logan Paul. He's there, and, and he'll come out, he'll make his statement, and then he will lose his title that night, and it'll be great. Yeah, fair, fair enough. All right. Last but not least, sorry about that, man. It's again, or you're gonna you're gonna go first this time. Breakout superstar of the year. The reason that we're all gonna break our rotator cuffs: Jay Uso, Tiffany Stratton, uh my favorite, my favorite two two uh, UK guys, UK tag team, pretty deadly. Um, Dragon Lee or L.A. Knight? Yeah, Mans. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Let me talk to you. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> uh, it's L.A. Knight. He became the biggest thing in the world for a second there, and then they dropped the ball completely. That's not his fault. Um, I would. It, it kills me not to pick Pretty Deadly because I love them, but it's L.A. Knight. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll I'll give you the I I do love Pretty Deadly, but Will Terrace, like who you got? Pretty Pretty Deadly is growing on me, but uh, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's gonna be weird, but I think like I'm too old for Pretty to, to like. You're not. Yet, you're not deadly. too old for Pretty Deadly. I'll tell you you're why. Not. I will tell you I, why because they learned. 
they learned from the New Day because they, they went to the New Day for help. And the New Day, the New Day told them, be as utterly ridiculous as possible. And they've yeah. taken the ball and ran with it. Yeah, they're, they're definitely trying. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, it's just I'm not there yet. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely LA Knight. Yeah, for sure. k Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's also LA Knight for me. <laughs> Very fair. I also don't feel like... I feel like Jay Uso has been around for so long. I feel like it's almost unfair to say this is his breakout. It would be so weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's because it's, he's breaking out from the tag teams, but I don't consider him a breakout at this time. Fair, fair, fair. I am going to go with Jay Uso because, yeah! <laughs> because I, think his, I think his entrance at Mania is going to be absolutely bonkers. That's night one. On top of that, I are they night one? They, That's yeah, they are night one. They the the whole they schedule got released on Monday. Uh, after they they released it on Raw, I was like, wow, that was quick. Not like last year when they were like, oh hey, day up. Here's what we're doing. Um, but I just watched the Jackie Redman show because Jackie Redman works for the NHL on on the side as well, and she has her own show on YouTube called the Jackie Redman Show. And Jackie Redman, when they were in Chicago for Raw, took Jay Uso to his first ever NHL hockey game. <laughs> With CM Punk. With CM Punk showed up as well. He was just at the Blackhawks. <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh, I'm here. What's going on? To watch Jay Uso, who, in my opinion, was visibly high. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. Visibly high. Enjoy hockey for the first time was an amazing thing to watch for 10 minutes before this show started. He was really excited about his deep dish Chicago style. He was. <laughs> Dude, deep dish is good. I don't know why people shit on it. I think it's delicious. Yeah. No, no, he was exceptionally excited. Yeah, so like he got <laughs> deep dish. Chemically excited. Yeah, he got it. deep dish after the first um period. After the first period. And so Jackie's like, so oh. so what do you think of the first 20 minutes? He's like, he had like a, he had a wide eye. So he's like, this is, Oh, so good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's glossed over. He's so happy. I'm like, he's high. He's really high right now. He was wearing his yeet glasses inside. <laughs> he's like, I want to be working right now, fam. <laughs> it was so funny. So that is why I'm going uh, uh, with Jay Uso with that. Um, so, yes, Jay Uso. It's gonna be the reason I can't. I gotta get a video of everybody doing Jay Uso's like hand wave, his little concert when he comes oh, out. Oh, dude, his 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 eight mile. Yeah, his eight mile. <laughs> that's where he whipped it off from because he did it in Detroit. Yes, that's right. He did. He did. If you get something like that going, you just never stop doing oh, it. Oh God, no, no. Honestly, <laughs> it's it's. I'm surprised it caught. Well, he started because why he started doing it in the next city, so that he made a catch on. Yeah. Yeah. All you need, all you smart. need is one spark. Smart. All you need is one spark. Yeah, all you need is one spark, and he's smart to run with yeah. it. So the slammings are happening as well, and we made all of our slamming predictions. Oh yeah, the other non WWE thing we're we're going to talk about, or the only non WWE thing we're going to talk about. If you thought we were going to talk about AEW, just watch CM Punk and Ariel Hawani. He does all the talking that you need. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Trust me. I actually got to find Trust me. Now. It's a must watch. It's a must watch. The other thing going on is the anti-WWE world, which is going on for years and years on end. WrestleCon, pretty much anything not WWE is going to go on WrestleCon. It is a slightly less organized WWE world with all of your favorite wrestlers, past and present, all in the same place. Uh, Vicious highlighting people like Ronda Rousey, Sting, Ric Flair's hobbling around somewhere. Oh, yeah, by the way, Under <laughs> Undertaker and Hulk Hogan will be doing special autographs at WWE World. That's a thing. Um, that's the thing as well. Uh, Will's favorite person, Ahmed Johnson, will be at WrestleCon <laughs> as well. Uh, my favorite guy, AJ. I might need a picture with Ahmed Johnson. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I just need to wear my like shorts really high up <laughs> <laughs> on my belly button. Let's go. You're going down. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Top Dollar. I'm just going through a list right now. Al Snow's gonna be there. Uh, let me see. Anna J, Arn Anderson, uh, Ash by Elegance, <laughs> Dana Brooke. Oh, hey. I forgot about that. Barbie Blank, formerly known as Kelly Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. will also be there as well. Uh, thank you. Trish will be there. The Blue Meanie is going there as well. Billy Gunn, Bob Orton, Brian Cage, Booker T, five time, 
Uh, buff the stuff Bagwell will <laughs> be in attendance as well. The newly single CJ Perry um, is going to be there as well. Coke, yeah. Cabana, Dan House, and DDP, Dean Malenko, Demolition, Dawn Marie will be there as well. My heart, yeah. Deanna Devon Dudley, Earl freaking Hebner is going to be yeah. in attendance. Dustin Rhodes, <laughs> the really, really scary religious man known as Elijah, formerly known as Elias, is going to be there as well. Oh, oh. I'm not the only one seeing it. No, that, no, right? it's scary. It's, it's scary what he's doing. He pops up on he should It's so weird. The book of and listen, listen, listen. There was a time in my life where that would have been the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and now it's like, what's happening? And is this a gimmick? And are you shooting for something? And scroll yeah. up. And then I just go about my business. Here's one that I. What if he's pitching like a Christian re- like promo? I mean, like it'd be, a promotion. It, it would work like a dream. What's going on, Arrowstream? By the way, um, it would work like a dream. Here's one that I think Mance and Will will love. Ernest the Cat Miller would Hell yeah. also be there. Sure. Somebody call him. On scene, Snitsky. <laughs> Snitsky. Absolutely. Oh fuck, dude. Snitsky. Snitsky is gonna be the circus side my baby. <laughs> Sitsky, uh, the Godfather, Henry Godwin, the Honky Talk Man. No one wants to see that guy. Uh, Dude, should I bring my pimp book and have him sign it twice? Because he he signed it as Papa Shango, right? He signed it as Papa Shango. So you got to have him sign it as as the Godfather. I, I but I said the thing he did sign it as the Godfather. Oh, but he was dressed. But he was dressed Papa as Papa Shango. Yeah. He was like, man, as long as the check clears, I'll write anything. That's, really That's what he said to me. Uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, the inspiration formerly known as the Iconics, will both be there. Oh, this is going to be weird. Izzy has a booth at WrestleCon. How old is this kid now? Uh, old enough to be 18, 18 and an independent she's wrestler. 18? Yes, she's on the indie scene. Well, then she gets a booth. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Jake Roberts, James freaking Ellsworth. I still have that photo somewhere. <laughs> Jeff Hardy. I have one with James. I have one with him too. Jeff Hardy will be there. Jerry the King Lawler, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan. A lot of weird reps. JoJo is going to be there. Jonathan Gresham, Jordan Grace, Josh Alexander. He's got, he got Shayna Blazer to do Bloodsport. Uh, just incredible. We get to meet Dave's twin. There's true. <laughs> Just incredible. It's gonna be. Yeah, dude, I might have to take a picture of Dave. I'm, I, might have to, I might have to take a picture of Just Incredible and just put it in my like the Tep group chat. I'm gonna tell my kids this was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Nash canceled. Very surprising. Kurt Angle, Conan. Uh, check, check my start to clear. <laughs> Lex Luger. No, he's doing some at WWE. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> God. Lindsay Dorado, Victoria, Lisa Marie Veron, who has the best photos ever. Victoria's great. Lita will be there. Los Boricuas are all going to be there. That's a callback. Uh, Mance Warner, because he still does stuff. Amanda Sakamano, Mandy Nax. Stole my name. He stole yeah. my dream. Mandy Sachs, God. also known as Mandy Rose, will be there. Monsoor, Maria Canellis, <laughs> Maria May, <laughs> Marty Janetti. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. dude. They're actually Can you, Can Hi, you go meet Marty Janetti yes, for me? Can. No, I'm not meeting Marty Janetti. <laughs> No. I'm not gonna no. lie, dude. I might get a picture with Marty Janetti. That's something I've been something worth being like. Go on behalf of me, I, God, like, dude. I'm I, so I want to pay for something that Facebook. nobody is gonna pay for, and that's Marty fucking Janetti. I paid for Virgil, right? I'll pay for Marty Janetti. That's, that's one of the, that's my favorite story from WrestleCon in New Orleans, and it's so sad now because he just passed away. Uh, I got there. Crack a dog because I, I was not hungover. Uh, <laughs> Speak for yourself. Austin. I was there all day long, and I, I, I've collected swag and I've got stuff, and I'm just like I'm gonna set this down and resort everything. And there's an empty table, and I set it down, and I'm resorting my bag, and I'm getting ready to go, and up walks wrestling superstar Virgil, <laughs> and apparently I have set all my stuff down on his table because he hasn't bothered to show up until about two in the afternoon. Ah, goodness gracious! <laughs> and I said, "Hey, I got off your table." And I probably say, "No, no wonder nobody ever comes to my booth anyway." Which either he's living the gimmick, or nobody ever actually comes to his booth. Nobody, no comes one comes to his, to his booth. booth. I, I, I believe no that. one. Uh, dude, no one's so, a fuck Virgil. It's like, I, I it's like Booster s- from uh, Jingle All the Way. There. Uh, so I, I met wrestling superstar Virgil. He just passed away. It's very sad, but that's my favorite WrestleCon story. 
bar none. Fair enough. Fair enough. My favorite WrestleCon story is when uh, Ric Flair was walking behind me and he put his hand on my shoulder. He's like, excuse me, son. And I wooed him away. Um, so that's that, <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, that was good. That was, that was he was good. just steadying himself. He about fell over. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> Uh, now the events, the uh, not the event, the uh, WrestleCon's fun. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're not done with the list. We're only we're halfway there. Matt Cardona, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy's there as well. Riddle got a booth because sure. Um, Mackenzie Mitchell. Um, uh, I don't know who that is. Mac- Mackenzie Mitchell was is the uh, the lead commentator's wife that they fired in NXT. The blonde chick. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. Okay. I got you. I'm with you. Mickey James, Sticky Mickey, Mike freaking Kyoto. Is gonna be there. Yes. Wow. Oh, I might get a pick with Mikey Yoda too. Uh, Mikey Whiprack, Miro. That's gonna be weird. Miro and CJ at the same place. Ooh. Maybe she'll give him the finger. <laughs> yeah. Mustafa Ali. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers nails. <laughs> um, I do. I yeah, do. I remember nails. Nick Wayne, Nigel McGuinness, Nick Nemeth. It should have been him. Dolph Ziggler is gonna. It should have been me. <laughs> yes. Uh, Nina Samuel. A lot of refs. Perry Saturn. Um, they found Perry they found Saturn. Perry. Oh, my God. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs, someone who really can't find TV. Mm-hmm. Oh, Raven is going to be there. Listen, if you had told me in, 20, in 2002 that Raven would still be alive in 2024, I would not have believed Raven. you. But good for him. Clear, I said before. Uh, the I talk with Raven. I, I want to meet Raven and say hi. The real one, Enzo Amore, still doing stuff. No. <laughs> He's so nice. He was so nice when I met him. Uh, we also have Rebby Hardy and Gothic Baby, Absolute Ricky Starks, Rikishi, Rob Van Dam, Ron Simmons, Dam, Rosemary, Sabu is still going to somehow walk over there, Sammy Callahan, Sandman, uh, Santana, who probably won't message her internet this time, okay? Uh, Scott, Fre- <laughs> Scott Freakin' Steiner, <laughs> Serena Deeb, Sergeant Slaughter, Shane Douglas, uh, Shelton Benjamin <laughs> will also be there. Sid Vicious, SoCal Val, who has been on WrestleMania Radio multiple times. Uh, she is a doll. Yeah, Steve Blackman, Summer Ray, Swaggle. Great, I love me some Swaggle. Tajiri, I hope Tajiri can green mess people because that's what I would want from Tajiri. <laughs> Listen, God damn, pandemic's not exactly over. <laughs> Uh, Ted DiBiase probably going to scam you like he helped Brett Favre scam people in Mississippi. Wait, wait Junior, Junior. Or oh, senior? Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man. <laughs> both, yeah. <laughs> both helped both, the scam. Uh, at least one of them was in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, t- Will's favorite GM, Teddy Long. Uh, Tennille Dashwood, Terry freaking Runnels. Really have for the Bunny mm. Thunder Rosa because you can't get time on AEW. Uh, let me see. Tony Atlas is still doing stuff. Tony Scavione, Trish Stratus. Thank you, Trish. Ultimo Dragon, who I didn't know was even alive still. And kicking. Yeah. He's still going. Victoria Crawford, formerly known as Alicia Fox. Hopefully she doesn't go berserk. Uh, Wardlow, Willow Nightingale, Zion Brookside are, are pretty much the highlights of the people who are going to be at WrestleCon. Like Will said, WrestleCon is a great fucking time. WrestleCon, also to be aware of, is not an all-inclusive thing. You pay to meet and greet uh, to do like meet and greets and photo ops and stuff with every performer. Every performer has their own pricing scale for stuff. Uh, I remember Coco Cabana being the cheapest person I ever got. I got a picture with him for like 10 bucks because um, that's Coco Cabana for you. Um, so please be respectful of that. Um, don't take photos if you if you weren't didn't get permission to. Don't be that dick. These are independent performers for a reason. This is how they make money. That's kind of my disclaimer in WrestleCon. But I will say, also go to WrestleCon. Even if you don't take pictures or buy anything, just walk around and look at people. Mm. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. really just look at people. You'd be like, wow. Like <laughs> I ended up in a food line with Tony Schiavone <laughs> in New York. It was a good time. Um, Did he announce the and- whole thing? No, um, but I, I mean, we, I, I got to talk to Tony Schiavone, which that this was before no, this was New Orleans because this was before AEW, and I hadn't heard that voice in 15 years. And all of a sudden, I was like, What's that? Who's uh, why is my childhood in my back of my head? And it's Tony Schiavone standing in line to get a cheeseburger, <laughs> and it's uh, it's the best thing. I talked to Eric Bischoff that week, totally nice Bischoff's guy, cool, dude. and then he went off. I mean, he's he's awesome. 
Uh, Allie and Rosemary, I see every time I'm there. Uh, sweethearts, go to WrestleCon. Just walk around. Seriously. And, and occasionally you're going to run into somebody from your childhood. It's like, why do I know who your face? Oh, because you looked like this 15 years ago. <laughs> and it's the best time. It is really cool. Go to WrestleCon. Yeah, go to WrestleCon. I almost didn't go in New York. And you guys all went. I was like, fuck it. I'll go to WrestleCon and had the best it's time. a great time in WrestleCon. I've, I've never been, but I like... Hey. Not to go next time I go to media. We, I didn't go during New York. Yeah, I, I understand that, but we need to get you to. You will, you will like WrestleCon probably more so than anything else during WrestleMania weekend. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like I would have a blast at WrestleCon. Mm-hmm. Like when I went when thir- when thirty five came around, I went to that um that New Japan show at MSG. Yeah. I went I went to Mania itself. I went to Raw at Barclays and I went to Access. So I didn't do everything, but I did a lot. You did, you did a good amount. Yeah. And then we were at Ronnie's for like after Access one day. Oh. We stuffed our faces. I miss I, That food was I know. That food is so good. We need to go. <laughs> we, we did we need to go when it's a non-wrestling related event. We just need to go. No, I agree. <laughs> Let's go to brunch soon, guys. We could we could whenever I get my money back. I don't know, it's a hell of a drive. <laughs> It's worth it. Trust me, the food the food is worth it. So that is WrestleCon. Moving on, we also have to kick off WrestleMania because they had a press conference. Now they're doing a WrestleMania kickoff Friday at 5. Why? I don't know. They're doing it. It's going to be free to everybody. It's going to be outside of Wells Fargo Center. Uh, will and I will probably, Will, me and Charles will probably not make it because we're probably not that crazy. Um, but we'll see what happens. That's a thing. It's occurring. It's free. It's going to be outside. Giant stage, kind of like what they do for their other big events. So there's a lot of people showing up for this. It's going to be a really hectic day for everybody. Traffic's going to be crazy. That's why. Yeah, I want to get to those club seats as soon as possible. And <laughs> just sit the hell down. When are you yeah. guys getting to Philly? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday in the afternoon. Okay. Picking up Charles from the airport in Philly and then eating cheesesteaks for the rest of the weekend. I love that for you. Probably. We, we yep. might go to that SBW store, the uh, South Vintage Wrestling Store. That I showed you uh, like a month or so ago, okay? Oh, yeah, you have to go. Yeah. It'll be a time waste Let before our Airbnb see. is ready. <laughs> I think they sell beers in there, too. Like like Austin, like Stone Cold IPA, so we might be there, too, as well. I'll, ha- I'll have a Stone Cold yes. lager if they got After that, obviously, it's going to be SmackDown Friday night, and then it's going to be the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony with actually a pretty, pretty wild class headlined by Mr. ECW. And if we're all being honest here on this show outside of Vincent Kennedy McMahon, cause I'll still say his name. Um, probably the most important figure in all, in all of modern pro wrestling. He is the reason you have stone cold, Steve Austin. <laughs> he is the reason that you love extreme wrestling and violence. He is the reason that Roman Reigns actually became something of himself. He is the underboss that no one ever talks about in a consistently positive light, I'll put it that way, in a consistently positive light. Um, he is the creator of one of the most underrated factions ever, the Dangerous Alliance. Paul Heyman is a mastermind. He's the orig- he's the creator of the SmackDown 6 era of SmackDown. Paul Heyman is a professional wrestling genius and horrible with money. Absolutely. Just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. All that aside, he's one of the gr- he's <laughs> one of the most important figures in the history of pro wrestling. Point blank period. He's going to be headline this event. That's all I can think of with Paul Heyman, and he's from Long Island. Good for him. Um, so hell of a promo. Of, goodness gracious, hell of a promo. Um, man, so what are your thoughts on on Paul Heyman? Paulie I mean, dangerously, some would say. Paulie dangerously. Uh, <laughs> listen. Whether I've liked Paul Heyman in the past or not, which the, as a kid, being a you know Southern wrestling fan, when this man replaced Jerry Lawler, he was my mortal enemy. And then when Lawler came back and beat him down, amazing moment. But seeing what he has done, what he can do, um, being the voice for Roman Reigns' entire freaking three billion day reign, uh, <laughs> just just. There, you're right. There is no professional wrestling as it is today without this man. I would typically have gone to Eric Bischoff, but Eric Bischoff just t- stole everything this man did and paid more money for it. Um, so yeah, no, Paul Heyman deserves this immensely. I don't like that Roman's inducting him. I don't either. 
I Damn, it's so gross. You could Who would? Who would? Um The bigger question is who's alive that would induct Paul Heyman? That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, the Dudley Boys. Um I had honestly thought it was going to be Brock before everything. And it might have been. But you know, they, I would have liked I would have liked Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer is is a good pull. I think, Dreamer, I think Dreamer pick. would have been the perfect pick. I think CM Punk made the most sense. Punk would have would've been, been a good pick, too. Yeah. Right back. Yeah, Roman feels a little bizarre. It feels, it feels like a stunt. Yeah, it feels like we're, we're, we're pushing the storyline. It feels like the whole night is now going to be about... The whole the, night the, is the, about the bloodline. The storyline. Because it feels like you're going to start with The Rock and, and his grandmother, and then Chris. you're going to end with Roman and Paul Heyman. So... It's gonna be just hey, we're it's no longer what it, the Hall of Fame is. We're now just promoting the end of the night and or the end of the weekend, and so it, it feels like it loses something. But I also feel like that's what Paul wants. He is a carny through and through. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. everything's a word. as much as Paul doesn't show his hand like his real emotions ever. He'll shoot from the hip, but then he'll get right back in the character, and I think. Him always being the carny type guy, he wants to take the spotlight away from him and put it on the bigger person being Roman. So I think he's going to use that. Like he's he's going to be appreciative. Hi, Boris. Um, he's going to be appreciative. He is going to like he's you're going to hear like a real Paul Heyman stuff. But at the end of the day, he's going to promote WrestleMania. Like that's the last thing I mean. Whose music does he come out to? Because he doesn't have music. I don't know. Uh, like you know, like, like on the on the stage WrestleMania, they have they have all Hall of Fame guys come out. They do the they, the main event guy gets his music. usually yeah Body, bodies by Drowning Bull. <laughs> That's a good pick. I, I want Paul. I or, want, is, or is it Roman Steve? No, Paul Heyman's gonna no. come out. Paul Heyman's gonna come out the Sandman. He's gonna come through the crowd. He's gonna start begging beer on his head the whole there you time. Go. But now I would pay good money for Sandman to induct Paul Heyman into the yeah. Taz would have been a great yeah, choice yeah. if he wasn't already contracted to AEW. Taz would have been a fantastic yeah. choice. Um, I, I, if I, I wouldn't recommend it, but he, he might have chosen New Jack if he was still alive. Cool. <laughs> but you wouldn't be able to hear anything because New Jack's music would be played like the, the whole entire time. time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of ECW people around, but that's Paul's going to headline. Roman's going to induct them. That should be an interesting speech uh, all around. Next, he's not writing one. He's literally waiting to see what the crowd's going to do. Probably. If it's if it's going to be an ECW crowd, it's going to be a fun night. Oh. If it's a WWE crowd, mm-hmm. it's still going to be a fun night, but it's going to be oh, a as soon- more family-friendly TV. Oh, as night. soon as Paul yeah. walks out, it's an ECW arena. As soon as oh, yeah. that happens. I really hope so. Yes. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> yeah. As soon- we might start bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just spontaneously. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh next up and not the headliner, but still a probably a long awaited anointment into this Hall of Fame. The gr- it's a little weird. The great Muhammad Ali, one of the headliners of the first several WrestleMania, and one of the inspirations for modern day mixed martial arts. Obviously he had the world of worlds uh, bout between him and Antonio Inoki. Uh, Which is terrible. <laughs> that match is awful. If anybody's ever seen it in Tokyo, yeah, Japan, it's it's part of a dark side of the ring, I believe, as well, where they talk about it as well. So Muhammad Ali is one of the, Muhammad Ali is the reason, one of the bigger reasons that WrestleMania one worked. By the way, on top of everything else, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, name mechanism. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah, he's he's pound for pound the greatest boxer of all time. Um, so I have Ooh. I have I I'm. I'm not going to argue about it right now, but I mean, Floyd hasn't lost. Yeah, so. but Floyd's. I don't like Floyd's style. That's just me. He's never even been the what? Not getting hit? Huh? No, no, no. Not getting hit. It's not that. He's a fen- he's a defensive fighter. He's a defensive that's what, that's what I mean. I don't like his style. Um, that's funny. yeah. That's I would argue that Muhammad Ali is also a defensive fighter. The rope a dope is purely a defense tactic. But I I'm a Kentucky kid. Ah, uh, here we uh, go. I was. <laughs> uh, and he was a Kentucky kid. Yep. He he eventually became the pride and joy of Louisville, Kentucky. And my father loved Muhammad Ali. I have seen all the major fights and most of the minor ones. It's a little weird that it's going into a wrestling hall of fame, except for the fact that he is there in WrestleMania. If you when you watch WrestleMania, one when you get to the main event, Muhammad Ali is there. He is he is the enforcer. He right? He's he's the enforcer. He's what 
Mike Tyson would be for Austin and Michaels 15 years later. Yeah. Um, but if you mm. go back to his wrestling days, the man cut promos all the time. Yeah. I'm yeah. so great. I'm so fast. I'm so pretty. I turn off the lights and I'm in the bed before it start. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a slap Howard Cosell. It is... <laughs> he is the archetype for, honestly, Dusty Rhodes. It's a, a lot of the same cadences, a lot of the same kind of gimmicks. Superstar Billy Graham deliberately Sh- said he's, he stole Muhammad Ali's cadence. That's where he got it from. Absolutely. Yep. And so, does he belong? Absolutely. 100%. It's so weird to play the video game, though, because he's currently my my unified WWE <laughs> champion. But, <laughs> but that's fine. We're going to... We're gonna leave that there. That's, that's great. That's great. Also about uh, Ricky, I think you're right. Fuck Floyd. <laughs> Muhammad Ali's pound for pound. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, also to be uh, to think about this as well. That World of Worlds match with Antonio Noki was actually streamed live at Shea Stadium to oh, thirty three thousand yeah. people. Yeah, it's amazingly <laughs> successful. Yeah, the match <laughs> bell to bell. Is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Also, in this is the matriarch of the Anoa'i family for the most part, Leah Maivia. I know a lot myself about Leah Maivia because I watched every season of Young Rock. The actress who played her, absolutely hysterical. Um, but Leah Maivia is integral in the reason that The Rock is uh, part of wrestling in general. Leah Maivia, one of the first ever female promoters in the history of modern wrestling, she took over the NWA territory in Hawaii, is is what her territory was. She had a really strong relationship with Vince McMahon. Because of that, she was able to get stars like Andre the Giant, uh, Rocky Johnson, who obviously married into the family, Ric Flair, Anoki, Dusty Rhodes. She did a she did a pay per view in '85 called Hot Summer Night, uh, which featured Rhodes and Flair and Andre um, and Anoki to a crowd of over twenty thousand people. Pretty much an NWA independent show to a crowd of twenty thousand people. She is a massive influence. Vince loved this woman a lot, and she was not one to fuck with. Um, the Rock is going to induct his grandma, who unfortunately passed away, so this is a uh, posthumous induction, but Leah Maivia uh, into the hall of, into the WWE Hall of Fame, probably rightfully so, also probably because The Rock's on the board now that this is happening, <laughs> if we're being completely honest. Like, as much as this is a nepotism choice, this is still a well-deserved choice. This is, this is also an about damn time choice. Yes. Um, the night that the High Chief and the Soul Man went in, Leah Maivia should have got in, and she could have been alive to be there. Yeah. That's the only bad thing I have to say with the whole thing. It's it's welcome. I don't care if it's because Rock's on the board. This is worth it. This is worthy of it. Um, it won't headline, but it very easily could, if not for you know Paul Heyman. Of course, absolutely, uh, absolutely, of course. And if you if you haven't watched Young Rock, it's actually a really comical. Uh, show. I watched the first season and I really enjoyed it. Praise to you, High Chief, as she would always say. She kind of she's portrayed as kind of senile and old. Uh, also, long time coming, Bull Nakano, uh, just a woman who was ahead of her time. She was just she was a great wrestler in a bad era for women's wrestling. Uh, claim to fame, obviously, she went against the Brace tons of times. That's the only other woman she could actually go against and put on a good match with. Um, just an absolute bruiser. Uh, she was started off in all Japan pro wrestling. Her fights with Alundra Blaze. Um, just watch a Bull Nakano match. She's an archetype of a powerhouse yes. woman in modern day wrestling. Um, and I only know two of her opponents. One's Alundra Blaze, and they're great. Yeah. One's Dump Matsumoto. That's the other one. And they're not. And they're not so great. <laughs> But it's not Bull Nakano's fault. You can watch it and see there. Yeah. Um, this is good. Is is Bull Nakano alive? I don't know, actually. I also okay. don't know. I was, I was wondering the same thing. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, please, please do, Kay. I appreciate that. So Bull Nakano, um, again, a fantastic archetype of a wrestler. Uh, more so more famous for, for her time in Japan than anything else. Yeah, she's alive. Oh. She's 56 years She's 56 years oh, old. Oh, that's it? Oh, all right. So she's she going to be there. Much mm-hmm. younger than I thought she was yeah. when she was taking on on their blaze and dumb mats and That's going to be an interesting. Yeah. I, w- I wonder if I wonder if a lunge is going to induct her because that would be really cool. Oh, that would be nice. That would be really cool. I didn't know she was Japanese. Mm, oh yeah, <laughs> so that I yeah you got you got to watch her wrestling style. <laughs> it's very it's very stern. Yes. It's very 
very stern. Also coming in is Thunderbolt Patterson. And I will tell you, I don't know much about Thunderbolt Patterson. He looks like he could be related to me, not because he's black, because we kind of have the same facial features. Anywho, <laughs> Thunderbolt Patterson. I'll read from WWE's.com's uh, little action of him. Hugely influential. Uh, growing up in Iowa. What's the thing with Iowa? Like, Sasha's from Iowa as well. Uh, he moved to... There's nothing to do. Yeah. Sasha Banks? Yeah, she's she was born in Iowa. Is it Rollins from Iowa? Ryan's, Rollins is, Rollins is yeah. from Iowa, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Someone. Nothing to do. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, Patterson with Texas worked with Dory Funk Sr. Uh, he was a good person on the microphone. He faced people like Bruiser Brody, Iron Sheik. Uh, he was a decorated tag team competitor, teaming with Ole Anderson, uh, which erupted into a rivalry with uh, that helped launch the Four Horsemen, the original Four Horsemen. Um, a contemporary of Dusty Rhodes, inspiring the American Dream's charismatic persona. So Dusty Rhodes took his persona from Thunderbolt Patterson. Very, very interesting to know. Um, big show. A white man stole something from a black man and made it successful? It's called- oh my God. <laughs> yeah, right? Elvis, what what happened? Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Uh, so known for his quick punches, blend of power, speed, compassion, Um Big influence on everything that's seen in the world today. So congratulations to Thunderbolt Patterson. Again, I don't know much about him, but he seems like he deserves to be in there. Sounds deserved to be. Yeah. Last, but certainly not least, the U.S. Express, because apparently everything was like a train, and like in the 80s. You had the yeah, Rock and yes. Roll Express, the U.S. Express. Didn't you? The Midnight Express. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. The Midnight Express. Everybody was going somewhere on a train. U.S. Express were competitors at the first WrestleMania. Uh, they had Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham. Those names should sound familiar to everybody in here. Um, entered the arena with rock and roll legend Bruce. They he came out to board in the USA with Bruce Springsteen. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. How were they not inducted earlier? <laughs> Just to that alone. <laughs> God. Jesus. Two-time tag team champions. They battled uh, Nikolai Volkov and the Iron Sheik as well as the Dream Team composed of Greg the Hammer Valentine and Brutus the Barber Beefcake, who I think is going to be rummaging around somewhere uh, during Mania Week. Uh, they are real-life brother-in-laws. Obviously, the Wyndham and the Rotunda family, Bray Wyatt, folks. Uh, and one of the, also probably one of the reasons why Bray's not getting inducted now. Um, they were inducted... Uh, was it? Oh, blah. Black Jamelkin was inducted to the Hall of Fame as a member of the Blackjacks. Wyndham himself was inducted into the Hall of Fame as a member of the Four Horsemen. So these guys um, have, it's a giant legacy in wrestling. Uh, they're going to come out to born in the USA, aren't they? I have a feeling they are. Probably. Yeah, I hope the so. licensing rights are, or fees on that are. So fuck it, just get Bruce. He will, he'll, Bruce will do a show. Bruce might also speak for really, really long, but he'll do it. <laughs> he might do it. Um, he might do it. Really well. Interesting fact about that whole that um, that match at the first WrestleMania. At the first WrestleMania, it is good to you know me- mediocre to good. Nothing to write on about. Yeah. Nothing terrible. They ran that match back. I after the collapse of WCW and something called Heroes of Wrestling. Yeah. It is the worst tag team match, <laughs> and I really, really have to watch. Uh, Charmel versus Survivor Jin, and again, it might be the worst match I've ever seen. Wow! That yeah, and it's not their fault. <laughs> well, Man, send me the link. <laughs> I, I will see if I can find it. Yeah, so that is the WWE Hall of Fame. So well, we are in for a long night on Friday because it's going to be happening immediately after SmackDown exclusively on the cock known as Peacock. So it won't be streamed live on cable TV. The next day, Saturday, we're almost there. There's only four matches for this one, so we're going to go through this really quick. NXT stand in the liver. What's Formerly a takeover weekend is now a stand and deliver weekend. And honestly, stand and deliver, not that bad. Only problem is it's at 12 in the afternoon. It's going to be a long day on Saturday <laughs> as well. St- oh, is it? Mm-hmm. I, I, it must have been a typo because I saw a time yesterday that said it was at 12 midnight after the first night. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, no, 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 no. That's insanity. No, it is not. If they were to do that. Okay. No. All right. That's. That makes more no, sense. No, it is not. The The highlight of that of this match is going to be Trick Williams, Carmelo Hayes, former friends turned enemies. Uh, Carmelo Hayes turned heel. Trick Williams has the craziest meteoric rise. The whoop that Trick chant is one of the greatest hustle and flow things um, that I've ever, ever witnessed. 
It's going to be fun. Trick Williams from the Philadelphia area. Carmelo Hayes is just the perfect superstar at this point. Um, this is going to be a pretty fun battle. The promo is going to be great for this. I'm going to go first in this prediction real quick. Melo's losing because Melo's moving up. I think he's done everything that he can do, and the only and the one thing left to do is to put his to put his best friend over in NXT storyline and maybe also in real life because of all our time together. I think Melo's moving up, and it's going to be the Trick Williams show in NXT moving forward. Mance. I saw Trick Williams become the biggest star of a, a in a show in 90 seconds last fall when he when he had four pinfalls in the last minute and a half of this of the weird the, the penalty box match thing they do into the iron survivor Scramble. iron survivor, iron survivor. Um, why he is why he is not going for the title this weekend I do not know but if they do by SummerSlam's uh, whatever they're just called whatever the SummerSlam NXT show is called Heatwave. he he will be the NXT champion. He's going to win here. Carmelo's already doing stuff on the main route. And if they handle this correctly, they have somebody just as popular as Cody Rhodes that they, in a couple years, that they can have win the Royal Rumble. They, they have something here. And for the first time in a very long time, I trust them to not completely fuck it up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I agree with that. Well, Tara Shock, I'm, I'm assuming you're going with Melo. You gave a good point, though. You leave on the way. You lose on the way out. Yeah. This is main eventing? This is main event. This is bigger than the world title. Yes, this is the biggest robbery in NXT. I'm probably going to go with Trick, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with Trick. You, that's a really good argument. You always lose on the way out. You always go out on your back. Cap has got nothing else to do there. Look at that face. Look at those graphics. He's like, the fuck am I still here for? <laughs> You see me. I almost died on SmackDown. The <laughs> yeah. fuck am I doing? You see here? me on SmackDown. <laughs> you know who I am. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> okay, Fabe. Are you going with uh, Trick I, as well? I'm also going with Trick, and I think that we'll see Mello on SmackDown as early as the next Friday. You could see Mello on Friday, Raw. I, guess. <laughs> well, you know. I think Mello's going to be on SmackDown. I think so I don't know too. Why? He gives me SmackDown vibes. It's because Nick Aldis is the TV. greatest GM of the modern era right now. He's great. I love he, him. He is. Why is he not? Why is he not wrestling? He's he's younger than I am. He doesn't appear to be injured. Why is he not wrestling? I I listened to the interview that he did on Corey Graves' podcast. He said, "This is what they offered me, and I decided I'm just going to take it." WWE came calling. This is what they did. gave me. I'm taking it. He's probably working on it. Yeah. He can wrestle I, eventually. He's not shape? limited to being a GM. No. That's true. What kind of shape is Adam Pierce in? Because no, I could get no, down no, to Pierce no. versus it's not Pierce is not wrestling. <laughs> uh, no thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> no, you, you don't like Kay, go hmm. if I send you the link, the best of seven series, Adam Pierce and Colt Cabana is stellar. Yes, it was ten years ago. But mm-hmm. it is amazing. Adam, if Adam Pierce is in the shape to wrestle, <laughs> even if it's Team Pierce versus Team Aldis at like Survivor Series, and they're just the no. fifth guys, it would be. I, I want it. I, I just, I just, I oh, just give me two NWA World Champions against each other. Make it Cody versus Aldis. I'm cool with that. I just like I can't imagine. I, I've never seen Adam Pierce wrestle, and I can't imagine it. Honestly, neither can I. I I'm with you there on that, Kay. But. We'll, we'll see what happens. Moving on to the uh, to the actual NXT Championship match. Ilya Dragunov, that psychopath in the ring that he is. He looks like a creator wrestler, but he doesn't wrestle like a creator wrestler at all whatsoever. Versus the gimmicky as hell, Tony D'Angelo. <laughs> Look at that fedora. <laughs> Can I just say, Ilya Dragunov looks like handsome Squidward in that, in that fucking <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I should have figured it out. And that oh, nails it. Yeah. I like, I saw that. I'm like, that's handsome Squidward. <laughs> but it didn't look like the same guy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Still better graphics on the royal family. Anywho, um, wow. <laughs> listen, we've all seen it. Um, 
Tony D'Angelo is playing the mob guy. This man has come out to stand and deliver with an actual mafia person one year, by the way. Like, he's doing a lot of stuff. He is the Donna Banks. He has kind of played up this mob thing as best as he can. The only thing left is that he needs to be elevated and to see what he does with a title. And honestly... Again, this is another, what the hell else do you do with Ilya at this point? He's done everything. He's done your classes. He's main evented a bunch of NXT premium live events. What else do you want from his run? Um, I think he... Plus his whole UK run before this. Listen, we are getting at some point... Here's what I see. You have Bash in Berlin. Gunther and Ilya Dragunov should go up against each other and, and tear the roof off that. And late August. It only makes sense to me, at least. And I think you got to establish Ilya on the main roster now so that he goes up against Gunther. And you give it to Tony D, have Tony D run with it. So I'm going to go with Tony D. We're getting a title change here. Okay, Fade. Um, that makes a whole lot of sense and all. But I don't believe this. I, again, I don't watch NXT anymore. So okay. I'm basically just talking out of my ass. I don't believe that this Tony D'Angelo is a champion just based off his graphic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. He still wears more like, suits. And like, I'm an Italian from New York. Yes, you are. I recognize my people. <laughs> I don't support this man. <laughs> Fair enough. But like, and I don't, and I don't have a legitimate reason. I just distrust him. I get it. But I can't place why. I, 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 so I'm going I with Ilya. I can see, I think Ilya's dropping soon, mm-hmm. but I don't know to who. Yeah. I don't know who's there. Yes. Just not this guy. Well, Tarashuk. I think Ilya keeps it too. I mean, how long has he been champion? A good while. Uh, at least a couple of premium live events. I want to say almost close. So six oh, months? About six months. I'll give you that. Yeah. Six yeah. months? Yeah, I think if you're trying to reestablish the brand of NXT and kind of get those people who who are bored of AEW back, um, I think you got to keep a long term champion and someone who's the marks love. Mm-hmm. And I think Ilya Dragunov is still that guy. Tony D is like too, he's too r truthy to me. Just the base off the graphic too. He's too much like a like a joke. No, but here's the deal. I would book our truth as a champion. I wouldn't book book this guy as I'm dead serious. Like not as a joke. I would seriously book our truth as champion. I would not book Tony D'Angelo as a serious champion. But I see. I picture our truth as a TNA champion. <laughs> I get, yeah, I get what you mean. Like it's, ve- it's that's very believable, and it would be an incredible run, and we would all love it if our truth was TNA champion. Yeah. No, I I, I definitely yeah. agree with that. Um, Mets, I don't think we gave you we gave you a prediction slot yet. So. I I can't abide by this D'Angelo man winning the title. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I can't. Um, he's too NXT 2.0. That's what that's mm. when the, that's when his little mafia family showed he up. He's yes. like a caricature. If he's gimmick heavy. He, he is gimmick heavy. If he wins this title on Saturday, Trick better win it off him on Tuesday. I okay. don't see that happening. I'm going with Ilya Dragunov. Okay, y'all just, we do not just. I I love me some Italians, so shit happens. But I get it. I get it. I'm a half Italian. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't recognize him. <laughs> one of my own. Sorry. Fair, fair enough. Like it's a lot offensive. It's just like, dude, you're. <laughs> He's like if if I Mad, he, if Mad TV did a Angela Sopranos a sketch, it would be Italian. this guy. That is correct. I do agree. Yeah. I do He'd agree. Slide in there. He, he, he yeah. would slide perfectly in there. I definitely get He's it. He's the Mad TV version of Tony Soprano's nephew. Yeah. yeah apparently, Tony D'Angelo is also an American ice hockey defenseman. That's <laughs> 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 way better. Than him. He'd be a hockey guy. We've had that. We had the goon. We do not need it again. Oh. His name is Joseph. Dude, his last name can't be Ariola. Yes, it is. A R A R I O L A. Joseph. That's an Ariola. Ariola. That's that is his an name. Ariola. Right. You know he grew. You know, growing up, his name was Johnny Nips. Yes. It had to have been. Dude, yes. okay, you know what? Dude, fuck it. He wins. He's so Italian. <laughs> He's so fucking Italian. He's got him. <laughs> Fair enough. The next the next match on this card, NXT Women's Champion Lyro Valkyria going up against Roxanne Perez, product of Booker T, only like 21 years old, and she oh, cute as a and button. Finally in her bad bitch era. 
right now in her running. Like she stopped being a good girl. Now she's like in her ex Dina, but like on a in a darker version era. And she's going against Lyra Valkyria, who probably doesn't get enough credit for being a really good champion after Becky put her over and gave her the title. Um, this is an interesting one for me. As much as they have someone with Roxanne, they don't have it yet, and I think Lyra retains. Man, sweetie, got. Uh, I want to say Roxanne should move up to the main roster. That roster is full of great women's wrestlers. It's not time for that. She, oh God, Lyra has not had it long enough. But if Roxanne doesn't win it, I don't know what to do with Roxanne, so I'm going with Roxanne. Fair, fair enough. Uh, kayfabe, speak out of your ass. What do you got here? Um, well, I remember, um, I remember what's her name, Liar from NXT UK, yes. and I liked her a lot. So I'm also was gonna go with her just because I know who she is. I mean, that that, that works, that works for me. Will has no clue who either of them are, I think. Maybe you know Roxanne. I know Rox, she's the one who collapsed. Yes, yeah, she had the, she had the yeah. uh, and the mental health angle. Yeah, didn't it happen twice? Once, or is it, it was once. once, yeah, once. Okay, because I remember one was like, oh, that was fake. And one's like, oh, that was mad. That like, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. So I remember her from that. So I don't know. She's cute as a button. I'll go with my heart on this yeah, one. Great cheekbones. Like, look at that. So. Yeah. Great smile. Yeah. Eyeshadow's great. Exactly like. Fair. Fair enough. I see a lot of these women, and I'm like, which one of you is Fallon Hindley? I don't know. I know which one is Fallon Oh, the Hindley. one on the left looks like uh, evil Natalie Portman. It's like if Padme had a heel oh, turn. Oh, it's Black, Sw- like Bla- Black, Black Swan. Black Swan Natalie Portman, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a way, way better way of putting it. I totally forgot she was in Black Swan. I do know which one Last Legend is. Did I tell you guys I saw that movie in seventh grade with my friend and our moms? <laughs> Oh you were in seventh grade when Wait, the last Black Swan, Swan came out. Oh my yeah, God. yeah. Stop it! I feel so. Stop. Stop. Yeah, dude. They had no, they had no idea, <laughs> and then we went inside. Like, all right, I like Natalie Portman. Sure, why not? Was we in PG thirteen? I don't I think. know how. There's no way yeah. that was. That's, there's no PG-13. way. Yeah, dude. We were like thirteen. We were like thirteen. We went and saw Black oh Swan, and uh, we Stop sat like. It. four. We sat was... four rows ahead of them, but I, that movie was <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> I was 19 when that came I out. I think I was like 20, 20. <laughs> that was in my 20s at some point. I was 44. <laughs> 2010. I was fi- All right, 2000, no, 2010, I was 15. Oh, 2010, I was, I was definitely 21. I was 23. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. I was, I was, <laughs> yeah, dude, what a movie. Right. Darren Aronofsky, I should have given my parents, this one, I'm giving my mom some kind of tip off. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Anywho, the final match that we're going to, unless NXT uh, did another match while we've been recording, uh, all the meats, all the time. Play the meat slapping majesty cue here, Will. Please. Where is it? Where yeah, is you got to find it? It. it. This is. It was meat slapping majesty. All the meat. You have Dijak, who has wished us well wishes via camera. You have Josh Briggs, who we've interviewed on the show. And you have this monster. Of a human being, former SEC defensive lineman, Oba Femi, who is who is just a dark Brock. If they if they if they like if they book him well, okay. His name is Femi? Oba Oba, Oba, Oba Femi. 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 This man. I don't like I don't like the last name. I love Oba, <laughs> but Femi. Listen, when you see him, you can be like you can I call him whatever him. he wants. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't who this man is i support him yeah 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 you can call Oba Oba Femi can say whatever the hell he wants because i'm not messing with that man at all that man is an absolute monster of a man and you have dijak who doesn't care about getting his hands dirty you have josh briggs who we've seen him break his hip at an indie show so you know he has no fear at this point um yeah, dude, but I think if I choose Josh Briggs, this Ober dude is going to come to the computer and choke me out. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to go with him. I'm good with Oba Femi as well. Like, everybody else is there just to put on a show. <laughs> this is going at, they have a ceiling of, of, of the inspiration for this match should be Gunther Drew Sheamus from last year's Mania. Just total yeah. devastation. I'm going with Oba. I think it's a clean sweep for Oba. Okay, you're going with Oba. Oba. Yeah. Oba. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Oba. I think I I I really like Josh Briggs, but no, Oba Femi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but 
There is a fifth match been added. What is the fifth match? It is for oh actually there's a fifth and sixth match Jesus that have been added. Jesus fucking Christ, whatever. Uh, it's gonna be, we're gonna be drunk woman, halfway through. So <laughs> six woman tag team match: okay. Thea Hale, right. Fallon Henley, and Kalani Jordan. Okay. Versus J.C. Jane, Kiana James, and Izzy Dame. All right, that's fine. I don't know who these women are. I know all of them. I like I couldn't pick them out of a lineup. I could, I know the names. I couldn't pick them out of a lineup. Uh, NXT tag team title match: Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker Ooh. versus Nathan Frazier and Axiom. They've got to get those titles off of Breaker and Corbin. Yeah, it's got to be Frazier and Axiom. Yeah, it, it, that's that's so. got to be it. Yeah, dude, Braun Breaker signed with SmackDown. What are you talking about? That, it confused the crap <laughs> on me. I was like, wait, he just it. won the tag titles. Yeah. Why is he still? Why is he signing with SmackDown? Um, so yeah, because Sean and Hunter don't talk. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. But yeah, those aren't going to be on our predicts. We're just going to do those first four. Uh, so that is NXT Stand and Deliver. Real quick, how well do you think this premium live event, pretty pretty much your little brunch wrestling uh, before Saturday uh, WrestleMania, how do you think it will be? One being the worst, 10 being the best. Man, you already guessed. How good do you think? How many crowns do you think this will be? God, without that six women match they just added, I'd say seven. <laughs> so I want to say six. Okay. All right, fair enough. Uh, Will, I don't know, dude. It depends how good, like how much food's open. How much food is going to be open at, like twelve noon? What are that's what the are real they, question? What are they like eggs? switching to like breakfast, like a breakfast brunch? That's what I mean. Like, dude, if, there, if there's eggs, I can have eggs and wrestling. It's automatically a nine. That's just a fact. It's just a fact of life. Yeah. But I'm going to go with strong eight because I don't think there's going to be eggs. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, I'm. <laughs> what am I talking about? We're gonna live at the Wells Fargo Center for like three days. We might as well get a three course meal. Uh-huh. They don't be tomorrow. Can I just like, can I just crash here instead of my Airbnb? I'm gonna like, gonna be here tomorrow at noon. <laughs> That's when I wake I up, dude. Have, like, I know you have on. a bed somewhere. <laughs> just put me in the locker room exactly. at this point. Okay, babe. Well, how well do you think this stand and liver paper is gonna be? Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know who any of these people are. I'll give it a seven. I'm gonna go some split the difference, seven point five. Uh, so that's stand and deliver. Uh, it's trick and mellow. Uh, trick and mellow are probably going to tear the roof off. I think if trick and mellow becomes like a almost quote a five star classic, it's gonna elevate this event a lot. Is it regular match or like no DQ? Is there a gimmick behind it? There's no. There's no gimmick. It's it's a blood feud. They, yeah, it's a blood feud, but. They, that needs to go no holds barred or something. But no, it's just catch just catch can wrestling. Just one on one match. Okay, I, res- I respect yeah. that. I respect it's, that. It's a classic blow off. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting how they put that together. So we'll see what happens. We are now here, folks. We are now at WrestleMania oh. night one. Oh, only an hour forty five well, in. Thank re- God. Well we that's made a it. relief. I took an edible like twenty minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> We're, is we're that why you're game. eating? <laughs> no, Liv made scones. Oh, so I'm word? Eating them. Oh, lovely. Oh, word? <laughs> They're really good. Jazz is supposed to bring me pizza. I don't know what the fuck she is, but she's, <laughs> she's bringing me pizza. It was her first time making scones. She's been saying for like a year she was going to make scones, and she finally made them. They're very good. Wow, that's, that's freaking awesome. All right, WrestleMania. So they're I'm, saving my ass right yes. now. Sitting here with a bag of white chocolate Reese's eggs from Sunday. That's all I got. I'm, I'm oh, drinking God. I ate my Easter candy already. That sounds better than the pizza, I scrambled honest. eggs on Easter. Does that count? Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, did, sure. Did you have to find them we, first? No, no, no. They were we in my fridge. We did an egg hunt for Boris uh, for no, Easter. No, it doesn't count. Damn it. Dude, one of the hard-boiled eggs I eat was so moist. Like, I was peeling them. Like, why is this egg wet? Did you, did you not boil it for long <laughs> enough? I don't know. Like, it was, it was so Mr. good. Was like, it's so uh, moist. Yes, we're still on, Fretz. We just got to the WrestleMania part of the prediction. Thank you for joining us. It's, Hi, Fretz. Yeah, this is going to be interesting stuff. But first, before we get to all of that, obviously, WrestleMania of a show of shows, the grandest stage of all, the biggest stage in all of pro wrestling, and one of the most economically positive things that happened to any city for a week long. They, WrestleMania, the event itself, is a top 10 sporting event in the world, rivaling the World Series, March Madness, the Super Bowl, uh, the Stanley Cup, the NBA Finals, the Kentucky Derby, so on and so forth, with an economic impact of close to, I would say, four to $600 million per city in a weekend. It is the reason that cities 
bid to get this because it is a massive money grab. Be it as it may, it is one of the most awesome events in all of sports entertainment. Probably my favorite event that I've ever been to multiple times. This will be my sixth WrestleMania. I still remember my first in Dallas. It is absolutely awesome, awe-inspiring. And the worst thing about WrestleMania week is this show itself. So that's that's the big thing about WrestleMania. The worst part of WrestleMania weekend is the WrestleMania show, and that should tell you a lot about it. Anybody else, some thoughts? We're going to do it. Mance, what are your thoughts on WrestleMania? You've been to a couple. I've been to a couple. Um, would not have gone if not for the podcasts. Uh, that is a very true statement. The worst part of both weekends <laughs> was going to WrestleMania. Going to WrestleMania. <laughs> I, I, and, and, this, and this was... One night, eight hour WrestleMania. It's, it's night. The last. I mean, the started, last of the WrestleManias yeah. in New York. I mean, the last, the last yeah. single day oh, WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, was such technically, a long day. that's not true. Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda hit the ring at twelve oh five on Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah. Fair, fair. It was a two day WrestleMania, but it was still <laughs> one event. Um, but no, like just if you go with people, which honestly, the first time I didn't really go with people. Mm. Uh, I found people. I found. I found Aunt. And Maddie, and then they brought me to you guys, and that all, this all kicked off because of that, which is awesome. Right, many a thirty-five in New York, way better time because I had people. Correct. Um, go to stuff. Don't just say oh, I'm. I, I'm going to go to the city. I'm just going to go to the WrestleMania show. Explore the city. I yeah. wandered around New York City. Yes, you is, did. Um, a fantastic. I went to. I went to WrestleCon. I went to to uh, NXT Brooklyn. And I went to I went to a Broadway show and just explored New York. Go to a city, learn a city, and then when you're done, go see a res- wrestling show that may be good, maybe bad, may have both parts. Um, my New Orleans wrestling venue was not so good, but I had a great time anyway. New Orleans was a wild time. Kayfay, what are your thoughts on WrestleMania since you've been to at least one? Yeah, I've only been to one for now. So I got sc- scone in my mouth. I have been to one WrestleMania so far. I intend to go to more, like when Boris is older and <laughs> CM I feel Pump. better about travel. CM Pop is the reason we're not going to WrestleMania this That's year, true. and I'm honestly like not sad about it. Like, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, we yeah, sure. have a puppy who we're gonna watch WrestleMania with. We have friends coming over. I'm working on a wrestling themed menu. Yes, um, yes. We have. We got a new couch, so we're, like, ready. I'm so excited. But Mania is just, it's such a magical experience that's so unique to to from other sporting events. I just feel like wrestling fans and being a fan of wrestling, it's very much a if you know, you know sort of vibe because most of, like, most of my loved ones are not wrestling fans. Like, they don't get this. I agree, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just so special. Like I love I'm a, like a lifelong football fan. I love the Super Bowl. I get very excited for it, but it doesn't have the same magic that WrestleMania does. Like Ricky, you say every year how America the Beautiful is like the most yeah, like it's it beautiful is. and it's emotional. It's the better song. I, Vince was right. <laughs> well, it is a great song and better than the Star Spangled Banner. But like it just I don't know, it captivates the emotion like it's all just a really good experience and i like urge anybody that's a wrestling fan even if even if you go once even if it's just in your city try to go it's so great and i went with my ex-boyfriend and still had a great time that's true so that is true will tarish what are your thoughts on wrestlemania (laughs) since we dragged you to a couple at this point (laughs) it's my third so i regret not going to uh Dallas. I yeah, definitely you regret did. going not going to <laughs> yeah, Dallas. You did. I I don't regret not going to LA because LA was LA was a great WrestleMania. It would have been a lot of fun, but LA so is just, expensive at the time was just way too yeah. expensive. Honestly, it's still too expensive. Minneapolis next year if, if it is in Minneapolis is like a like a six or seven out of ten possibility I'll end up going. Bring um, a hoodie. But the best part of Wrestle the best part of WrestleMania is yeah, bring a hoodie. Is uh is definitely the fans. It's always it's always just going to like a restaurant, and it's being filled with wrestling fans. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, you know. know. <laughs> you, you know. Can, you can tell. <laughs> like, the, the the tailgates are fun. And it's better if you have a group like like, like we do and always have. Yeah. So it's always good like, to see a wrestling family because it's the one thing that connects all of us and we all go and do together. Like the uh, the Evolution show where we did our we did our tailgate. I think about that all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my Jeff Hardy dance. It was in our backyard. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wait, so the best part of WrestleMania is just being with the fans and the people you meet and the people you remember and the people you definitely want to forget. <laughs> and yeah, and the WrestleMania day and now days, it is really exhausting. <laughs> it is so exhausting. After WrestleMania 30, uh, 20, uh, 35? 30, 35 in New yeah. York, 35 yeah, in you New were York. Done. I was like, I woke up the next day. I was like, wow, this is the first time I've ever been happy to be unemployed. <laughs> 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 yeah, you got to make sure you take the gap days. To essentially put it, WrestleMania is the poor man's Super Bowl, and it's probably better than the Super Bowl in and of itself because compared to the Super Bowl, it's yeah, actually sure. uh, affordable. Uh, there's so many. I met Dave and I met the Vaz family who've become lifelong fans of the show. I, they gave me the left, right, left, right title that's in my room. Um, so. Yeah, that is pretty, that is really cool. It is pretty it's awesome. So like, cool. It's like so we have a cool. family that follows us because they came to they came to our tailgate in New York. And I was like, these guys are freaking awesome. Um, yeah, I meet so many people from so many other countries. Uh, it's it's just such a cool time. It is probably the sporting event that I like to go to the most. The difference between WrestleMania and any other sporting event is that all the fans are in on the stick. I think that's what ma- we're yeah. all in on it, and we're all here to have a good time. No one's there to be an absolute douche. And so I think that's what makes the event that much more powerful. It's everybody from all the different corners of the world, multiple countries and provinces and stuff like that. And we're all in the same thing together. It's kind of the craziest unifying thing that I'm ever a part of, like on a on a pretty consistent basis. And I think that's what makes WrestleMania like oddly special. It's it's almost like a World Cup event with so many flags and stuff like in the arena. Like it's nuts. Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. It, yeah. And WWE does a really good job of keeping everything close and keeping it in the community. Correct. Yeah. Like, they, but with with World and all the other shows, and they, there's there's so much to do. It's like, yeah, you can do it like what Manson in New York and wander around New York, or you can just do wrestling shit, and you'll have plenty to yeah. do. You'll meet so many cool people. Absolutely. Like you can be like, dude, fuck Minneapolis, <laughs> all right? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Which I might in Minneapolis. Honestly, uh, I'm here for WrestleMania. Like I'm here honestly, for WrestleMania. If it, real life, go ahead, Vance. Wrestling like Radio is here because of, of WrestleMania. That is true. That is true. Yeah, because absolutely. That's that's where the three of us met. Yeah, I met Kay at 35, mm-hmm. and and you know we all got together with Ant because of it, and it's kind of where Wrestling like Radio comes from. Yeah, it's true. It sure it just grew from there. Here's a crazy thing about rest, about wrestling in general. This wasn't even WrestleMania related. I'll tell you guys a story. You want to know the first time I met Kay, folks? I picked up Kay from a train station. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I picked up Kay from a train station. <laughs> I met Nate at the airport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I invaded your guys' Airbnb. We would have let anybody in. We were so hungover. I'm not going to lie. We would have let anybody in. We still haven't met friends. We still haven't met friends. We're going to yeah, meet them at the train station. Yeah. <laughs> we have met, uh, we have, yeah, we've met so many. And I have met, and I know, speak for everybody else, but I have met so many influential people in my life through wrestling and wrestling Twitter, but through wrestling <laughs> um, yeah. and, and things yeah. like that. So that that is the cool unifying thing of, of wrestling and WrestleMania in and of itself. So let's get to the long awaited card. And we are starting with the pre-show, <laughs> which is going to be. No, we're not. <laughs> Fuck no, it. We, it, no, no, no. Battle Royal? I got money on. <laughs> no, the Battle Royals. The Battle Royals going to be on SmackDown. You're going to see the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, Will. I'm sorry. Great. I'm sorry. <laughs> so exciting. The two of those yeah, I've I wish seen. Just fast forward through Smack. Can we like, watch SmackDown at a bar and just go to Hall of Fame? <laughs> I mean, technically, <laughs> probably. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, but no, they're gonna do it. They're gonna be a pre-show night one and night two. Uh, I'm only saying this because CM Punk is gonna be on the pre-show. And K, if I can get you a CM Punk picture, I will. You welcome. <laughs> yeah, CM Punk, Pat Packaby, Michael Cole, who looks really cross-eyed in this graphic. Biggie, <laughs> uh, Wade Barrett, and Jackie Redman are all gonna be doing a two-hour pre-show in the Pepsi Plaza. We'll be honest with you; that's probably where we, me, you, and Charles are gonna hang out because it's an open, yeah, it's an open fine. plaza. Yeah. Um, Outside, like, the north gate of Lincoln Financial Field with a bunch of food and all that stuff. So it's pretty much a prepared tailgate for us. So it might be a little bit yep. easier. So that's happened. But we are going to start officially with the night one main event. I only did the night one main event because this night one main event will have uh, will have very big implications for the night two main event. 
So night one main event, the biggest tag team match of all time. Uh, Seth freaking I need a world title Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. I like to bleed for my world uh, in Cody Rhodes. Uh, I like to bleed for my world title versus the final boss bloodline, The Rock and Roman Reigns. If, 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 if Cody and Seth win, it is going to be a straight up match between Cody and Roman. No bloodline involved at all. If The Rock and Roman win, it is going to be bloodline rules, which means there are no rules in that uh, for the main event uh, for the main event of night two between Roman and Cody. I think, in my heart of hearts, this is clear and evident that the Bloodline are going to win because we are going to get the dustiest of finishes on Sunday night. <laughs> um, and you don't get a dusty finish in a really, really straight up match. You're going to get the wildest ending in WrestleMania history, and it's all going to start with Rock and Roman beating Cody and Seth. Mance, so what do you have for Oh, this? yeah. Uh, how specific you want to get here? Uh, because Not I agree with out. you, but but um, Rock pins Rollins. Okay. There's I no like way that. Rock is not... Cody's not getting pinned. Roman's not going to be involved in the decision. Rock pins Rollins because there's no way Rock's not getting the pin if they're winning. And of the two, and this, I'm telegraphing, Mm. Rollins the one that's going to eat the most losses this weekend. Gonna, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to put that out there. Yeah. Uh, and more on that later. So Rock pins Rollins setting up my grand fantasy booking for the weekend, which will unfold as we do our predictions. Um, yeah, no, it, rock, rock bottom, not probably not the people's elbow because that seems too much, but just, you know, rock bottom, maybe a bunch of rock bottoms, maybe a chair shot to rock bottom, but Rollins takes the pin from the rock. Fair enough. Well, Tara, you're going to be witnessing the rock for the first time in your life. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I am, I am. I am really excited, but, uh, Hot take here. I think this match is a total mistake. I mean, I don't disagree with you. Yeah. Like this match should not be happening like at all, because if you look at the build, it is just straight up been Rock and Cody for the entire build. The other two have just been there. It's a the shield drama, like, with, though. Yeah, with 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 uh, with with Seth's build with Drew. I mean, what build with Drew without, without CM Punk? Like, there's there's like too much crossover. Like the mat, this WrestleMania is very very top heavy, and it's being led by Rock and Cody. Mm -hmm. Straight up, like this should have been a one on one match, Rock and Cody. Winner faces Roman, and they still could have had like heel rock and heel and rock would obviously beat the shit out of Cody. Yeah, although he just beat the shit out of him on last Monday or two months ago. Yeah, so yeah, that's true. Look at him now, but it's gonna be a fun match, like they're gonna go all out. And I, I do think Cody eats the pin, especially if he wins the next night. The loss on night <laughs> one doesn't even matter. Very true. I like Fred's prediction here. He says Seth comes out as Rocky Maivia's debut attire, which. Would God, be amazing. Please, that would be so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Which would be absolutely amazing. Oh, blue with the streamers. The blue streamers. That's what we yeah. want. So, Kay, who do you got for this? Um, I also think the bloodline are taking this. I also, but I do think Cody is being pinned, probably by Rock. Roman's not going to do shit. Um, of course not. I just. If if Cody's choice is like a clean, boring ass match for night two, why that? Why would anybody think Cody would win? You know, like that's, that's also not Cody's style. I know, like who wants a clean, boring, non bleeding Cody Rhodes match? <laughs> I don't. Um. I'm excited for it though. I think it's gonna be very, very fun. Like the minute this is all, the yeah, minute this is Cody an slapped heavy. Rock, I'm like, we're getting a taggy. <laughs> we're getting a taggy. My WrestleMania party. Yeah. We're I'm doing my our WrestleMania party for Saturday night, and I'm so glad it's for Saturday because the card's so much better. And this is yeah. it's this. We we're getting so, a taggy. I love it. What's the over under time wise from the beginning of entrances to the final bell? Well, it's match? a special. It's Ooh. a special. Oh, for this, I mean, it's going to be an entrance heavy main event. Um, mm -hmm. From the beginning of entrance to the final bell, oh, Jesus, forty five. 
I think I think that's fair. I don't think it'll go an hour. I think it'll I go think an 45 hour. Is... With entrances? An hour. With entrances, With I'm entrances. going 45, yeah. Yeah, you know, 12 minutes for Roman to get down to the ring. <laughs> 15 for uh, The Rock. <laughs> I'll give it 33 minutes. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, eight minutes for Cody to rise from the floor. Um, <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think Cody does the rise from the floor until night two. Maybe not. Maybe that's what he'll destroy a replica of Tony Khan's desk. <laughs> it's Tony Khan's desk is a giant bag of cocaine. He takes a sledgehammer and bashes mm-hmm. it. <laughs> that's all it is. Oh my god. So yes, that is, that is night one. We're going to move over to the night two main event. The reason that this pay-per-view actually even exists. Roman Reigns, Cody, part two. I've said it before. I say it again. I think the Cody Rhodes debut, and I didn't, I didn't invent, I didn't come up with this. I saw this on someone else, and they asked Cody this. I think this, we've all been witnessing a three-part play. WrestleMania 38, A New Hope. WrestleMania 39, The Empire, a.k.a. The Bloodline, strikes back. Yeah, strikes back. WrestleMania 40, Return of the Jedi. This is going to be one of the wildest endings ever. There is a there there is a theory that they're going to do something. People have been doing this theory that it's going to be the Cody Avengers because like who's going to get be on Cody's side uh, and that the, the Cody Avengers are going to show so they're going to do some sort of end game type deal. Um, part of that theory includes the glass shattering hint, hint, wink, wink um, as well. Uh, be that no. as a, you got it. It would be really you got to counter the rock somehow. <laughs> yeah. That's not going to happen. I'm just I saying mean, it's a theory. It is a theory. Vince McMahon wrestled two years ago. <laughs> yeah. I, <listen>. Shane, like, <laughs> blew out his knee last year. Leg fell Anything off. is possible. Yeah. I'm just saying it is a theory, but it's out there. Because if we're going bloodline ruins, it's going to be calamity. What a better way to, to just go up on that calamity is that they're calling us the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Everything is on the table. Be it as it may, we we could be getting a Mankind winning the title at Raw finish, if we're being honest, if that is the case. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, with all of that being said, I'm still going with Cody, because if he doesn't win this, then what do we, what do we build him for these last three years for? It's got to be Cody. Will Tarashak. I'm not. I'm not convinced he's gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up. Like it seems. It's. It's. We. We did this. I last know. Year. I know. I know. Up. It's the moment. The torn pack. Oh, the torn pack. <laughs> and last last year, I was like, "There's no way Cody wins." <laughs> this year, I'm like, "There's like a fifty percent chance he wins." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, because here's why, man. If Roman can hang on till September, he passes Hogan. I know. Like last year was like he's gonna pass a thousand, Mickey. You were like, he doesn't need it. But like does it. <laughs> like, now I'm like, dude, he could pass Hogan for number two all time. <sighs> I dude, I really, I really, really I like streaks as much as the next person. Really <laughs> want Roman to hang on to this title. <laughs> I do but what is it? I said a few weeks ago, last time I was on the podcast. You do not want history to end. We are witnessing history of historic title reign. You want this to go on as long as possible. Mm. So you better always pick Roman winning this title because you're never going to see this again until you die. That being said, Cody is the person that picked this title because <laughs> there's no one else that's totally believable to yeah. do it. I just think he does it. Remember, remember what happened at the end of Empire? <laughs> Luke did it. <laughs> which means, which means last uh Return of the Jedi hasn't been written yet. <laughs> so <laughs> Roman might win this. Uh, so are you are you officially going with Roman here? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Roman. All right. My tribal acknowledge him. My, My tribal, tribal chief, please. Him. Kayfabe. You know it's like wild i don't know at all which makes it which means this is good booking yeah it's great booking i also am not very convinced cody will win (laughs) i can see them dragging this out for another year i'd be so over it at that point i'm already over it a little (laughs) bit though like i 
I love Roman Reigns. Everyone knows that. But I'm I want him to lose so badly. I'm so bored of this. But like I feel like they're going to let make him hold on to it to break Hogan's record. <sighs> so I think I'll I'll going to go with the tribal chief. I want Yeah, I don't want him to win. I am actively acknowledging that I do not wish to acknowledge him at this time. All right, Mance, lay it on us. Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. I like you guys. You guys are actually on my wavelength here because I want Cody to win. I think Cody will win, but I will not rule out that Roman Reigns might win and retain this title. But officially my pick is Cody. Um... And and I don't believe you know his bloodline rules, and for reasons that will become obvious as we continue predicting, Jay and Seth will not be there to help Rody uh, Cody. Ooh! So at some point, Cody will be surrounded. Roman, Rock, Jimmy, Solo, and the glass will shatter. And Stone, why the hell is Stone Cold in the shape he's in right now? He's coming. He's <laughs> you got a good point. You got a good point. <laughs> he's he's going to stun Jimmy. He's going to stun Solo probably three times. And then he <laughs> and then he and The Rock are going to brawl their ass backstage. He's not going to touch Roman Reigns. Ah. That's Cody's to deal with. He will, you know, he'll take out Jimmy. He'll take out Solo. He'll take he'll he'll take the rock out of the picture, but Cody will finish Roman off himself, and and so I'm picking Cody. Do I think that's going to happen? Eighty five percent, fifteen percent. God, Roman's going to to not not the whole thing. Roman, that Cody wins eighty five percent, fifteen percent. Roman retains the title until at least Survivor Series, and lo- drops it to. I don't know if Cody doesn't win. I think it's got to be Cody out of the picture. So who is it? Ron Breaker? No. Stop I, it. I have, I have no idea. That is such a great finish to wrestling. Honestly, I if the glass I, shatters, I, I I'm losing my mind. I feel like Philly is too volatile of a place to allow for the Rock. Meek and Mills doing in the, the cold room. open. Little Wayne's just announced he's showing up at Yo, Mania. I'm so okay. fucking okay. <laughs> I, Dude, if, if Stone Cold, if the glass shatters, the fucking Philadelphia police better start greasing telephone poles. Seriously? All right? Because like, like, that is what will happen. That I know that I said I have no FOMO about not going to Mania. When Little Wayne showed up last night and said he was going to Mania, I'm like, fuck me. <laughs> Little, we're going to get a Little Wayne him. concert for Jay Uso's entrance. You know that, right? I'm so uh, jealous. I'm so that. happy for you. But I love him. Oh my god, it was it was crazy as Lib just flare walks right behind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. Um listen, if the glass shatters, I will have no voice for like three weeks. I'll tell you that right. We have a voice by time the glass we shatters. We won't have a show. Yeah, we won't have a show or another month or so. Whew. I that got me really excited if that happens. I don't want to get too I'm telling you. Jesus Christ. Know, after all that, I could still see him. <laughs> ever you since imagine? I saw... <laughs> I <could do> that. <laughs> yeah. He's, but ever since I saw Stone Cold, he's lean, He and he's doing not just curls, like a heavy, quick, explosive curls. He, he's got the plate. I was like, what the fuck are you trading for? <laughs> and it's kind of gone from there. It's just him and Poncho, the cat. I fucking love Poncho, that to. cat. I love that cat. All I want to see if that happens, I just want to see... A classic rock in Austin square up. You know the punches they do? Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. I want to see. Uh, give me that for five minutes. Uh, Everybody out of the ring, uh, give me that for five minutes. Yeah, exactly. Over. Game over. I walk home. Yeah. I walk home without seeing the rest of the main event. <laughs> it may be a case where to, to clear the ring or to, to clear the it's ring. To clear the ring that, moment, yeah. The blood line has to already have beaten up Cody. Or maybe they do it while Stone Cold's coming down because it's going to be a long ass ramp. But regardless, if it. If you're going to do that, you've got to have the ring clear enough for Rock and, and Austin. So Cody's got to be killed before he gets there. Yeah. Um, regardless, he cannot lay a finger on Roman Reigns. 
That's integral to yeah. the story. Correct. If he yeah, if he is. stuns Roman, you get a Mankind wins the title moment. You get a Vince McMahon wins the title moment. And that fucks up the whole end of the story. Yeah. Or it gives completely. you or it gives you a dusty finish, mm-hmm. which is a finish to the story, but not the one you want. Yeah. <laughs> to Quan said, I want Fred Durst to magically appear in the ring when Rock and Austin show up. <laughs> Listen, Fred Durst is having a renaissance right now. I love me. I love me old man Fred Durst. So- fun fact, Red fun fact, Fred Durst and I share a birthday. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. I know what I'm getting you for your birthday now. <laughs> <laughs> red baseball cap red, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly uh moving on to, to seth rollins still hasn't gotten his main event which is the funniest thing in the world essentially part of the undercard of night two uh seth rollins defends his i'm seth rollins i need a world title because i complain a lot against drew mcintyre who seth doesn't even care about and because of that and because drew mcintyre is doing fantastic heel work I'm giving it to. I think Seth drops. I think it's over for Seth. He should. He should yeah, drop. I think it's absolutely over for Seth. Although I think I think they drag it out a little bit more. Having Seth lose twice in a row, that's a tough. That's a tough weekend. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. So you're going with Seth, Will? I'm gonna go with Seth. K Fave, yeah. who do you got? I also like think Seth is dropping. Just just not yet. I think Seth will drop by SummerSlam. So I'm gonna go with Seth. Seth could Seth well, then could again, drop Damian on Monday. Priest has a fucking briefcase. He's gonna Seth cash could in. drop on Monday. Oh fuck! I forgot about the briefcase. Seth could drop on Monday. It could happen. It could happen. Man, so what do you got for this? Drew McIntyre, and here's why. Um, Drew did not get that moment years ago during the pandemic. He's still not getting it here. It's not. The, <laughs> the bloodline will be killing Seth Rollins during this match. Just as punishment or to keep him out of the way during bloodline rules, Solo and Jimmy will take care of Seth Rollins. Drew will get a sneaky, cheatery pin after he's been spiked and whatever Jimmy's solo finisher is, I have no idea. Um, And then Damian Priest will cash in and steal the moment from Drew McIntyre becoming the, the world heavyweight champion and giving Seth an out. For, you know, he's, he's lost twice in a row. He got really beat up the night before. He got beat up here. He didn't lose clean. Drew now can chase after Priest. And, and, and so we get to Clash of the Castle, and he can have his moment there I, again. But Seth is going to eat another pin. Drew's going to eat another pin. And it drives McIntyre even crazier that his moment still is being stolen from him. I agree. Does Damien, Damien turns face? I think Damien turns face. There's something going on with the ju- with Judgment Day. I think it's going to be the last weekend of the Judgment Day, to be honest with you. Um, yes, me too. Yeah, there's something going on with the Judgment Day. And listen, Clash of the Castle just got announced for Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Come on now. Drew, Drew can win yeah. there. Drew, Drew should win there. Drew can win here as long as he immediately loses to Damian Priest. No, but if Drew wins in Scotland, that's going to be a madhouse. That's going to be the thing. <laughs> that's, honestly, I feel like winning in Scotland would be a better moment for Drew than Mania. They're going to lose all their alcohol about one week. If he wins in Scotland. <laughs> you thought Philly would be crazy. Yeah, right? Exactly. Exactly. Moving on. Mommy versus the man. It wrote itself a while ago. Um, oh, I'm so excited. They are going to be night one, I believe. So the, the women's titles are night one. The men's, the men's big world titles are going to be night two. I don't know where you put this. Uh it's the First, opener. It, I, is it going to be the official opener? It's announced for the opener of night one. Wow. Okay. That's a Damn. big deal. That's a huge deal. Um, this is Rhea's biggest opponent, her most confident opponent that she's faced pretty much during her entire reign as a women's world champion. And Becky Lynch has been putting on WrestleMania Classics for a while. Um, oof. The opening match of the first night of WrestleMania is a big deal. The big it's stage. a big stage. It's a and big it's a stage. Big, that's a big. That's a lot of faith they have in both of them. Um, whew. Jesus. Oh God. Uh, Rhea has had a. Mm, Becky doesn't need this title. That's what. No, that's what I'm not. sticking. I, no. I don't think Becky yeah. needs yeah. this title. And yeah. and her contract's up, and I think she said she's going to take a few months off to be go be a mom. Yeah, as she should. That could just be a swerve. That that could totally just be a swerve. She's bro, going on a book but... tour. 
<laughs> Clearly. Yeah, she's also yeah, going on the book, book tour. Yeah. yeah. So I think she she resigns, takes a few months off, comes back around SummerSlam. Yeah, I'm, which hey, she had a hell of a run. I'm gonna go with Rhea. I'm gonna Agreed. go with Rhea totally. at this point mm-hmm. now. Rhea, Rhea needs to keep it because where's Rhea go if she loses? Fucking exactly. nowhere. I think I'm gonna go with Rhea. Where is Becky going if she loses? Where the fuck she yeah. wants? Okay, what do you got? Uh, what do you got here? Um, I would like to preface this by saying that this has been a dream match of mine for years. Mommy versus so, the like, man. um, do you want an event T-shirt fucking... of Mommy versus the Man? We can get you. <laughs> if they have it, keep me posted. I will send you money <laughs> well, because yeah. I I might need it. Um. <laughs> I think Rhea is retaining. I think they're saving her to drop to Jade. I think SummerSlam is Jade. my prediction. Okay. I think it's Jade. I think Jade is Jade is going to get drafted to Raw and then. Oh no, she signed with SmackDown. She's official SmackDown. Yeah, Jade's on Jade's on SmackDown. Maybe she could get no, drafted though. No, I know that. I know she's currently on SmackDown, but the draft could happen between now and then. Fair. Yeah, it usually happens shortly after Mania. Yeah. They shake they shake everything up, quote unquote. Yeah. So there's that. So mm-hmm. Mance, what do you got? I don't know. <laughs> the, un- <laughs> the unwavering confidence of the delight is wavered here because there's so many good reasons to put this on Becky because it's the opener of WrestleMania. You want that big rush, you want the crowd to be super into it, and yet there is no other reason to put this title on Becky Lynch. Rhea has had this title since last year's WrestleMania. She, she has, has done a lot. She she is mommy. She is possibly close to, if not as big, as the man was going into 35. Mm-hmm. So, uh, my question was, well, who's next? If you, if you go through Becky, who's next? Jade Cargill might actually be that answer. And the way my fantasy bookie works, if... Rhea is the only member of the Judgment Day that comes out of this weekend with gold. That's actually an interesting story. I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley. Yeah. But I'm mm. just now convincing myself that. Oh, uh, Rhea's, Rhea's opening pyro is going to be absurd. I can't When wait. she stomps her foot on the ground, that place is going to rock. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they do a better job setting up the pyro than they did at Royal Rumble 2022. I was there. It was terrifying because after Ronda pointed at the sign... Mm-hmm. It caught fire. They had to <laughs> oh, evacuate a section Oh, yeah, of the I remember that. Bring them other, like, you hear all during Becky and Piper Niven, you're on fire. Yeah, They're yeah. not cheering for them. They're <laughs> cheering for, and we're all like, oh, God. Uh, they, got, they got it put out. They reloaded it with pyro because why to. the hell not? Yeah. Put took it back up. Then Brock points at the sign and it catches fire again. Like, <laughs> What the hell's the matter with you people? Oh, so, God. if they're not careful, they will burn down Philadelphia. That's all I'm saying. They had, it won't be a yeah, total that's loss. Right. It's only Philly or whatever. Protect the Liberty Bell or something. I don't know. Uh, moving on. Uh, EO of Damage Control versus Bailey, who doesn't really have any friends anymore. And Bailey, I think, womp womp. needs a hug. I am calling for it. Wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube men. There it is. Coming back. Dude, if she comes back with her old music. <laughs> uh, that's so that would be so exciting. There's o- I miss that song. That's there's only one place she can go because the the whole, you know, ding dong hello, this is supposed dance is supposed to be her magnum opus. And now it's been taken yeah. away from her. She has to go back to something more familiar. She's clearly the face here, has been the face for a while during this whole feud. Um and I think Bailey gets a better moment than she did at Orlando's Mania, and I think Bailey wins here. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, I I have moments that I want to see, as always. Um, I want Bailey to come out regular Bailey music or current Bailey music, um, and I want her to be down and out. Maybe she's been beat down by damage control, or she's all frazzled, and to get her second win, she pulls a side ponytail. Oh, that would be awesome! She wins, and then when she, she the wins, magic from the ponytail. Exactly, and when she puts the belt the, up, the two men that's come when up. We get the Bailey buddies. But here's the thing: they gotta have like bandages on them because she because she, she chopped them, them up. Oh. She chopped them up. <laughs> yes, I need the I I want the whole thing. I would not be satisfied with less. <laughs> I, man, I want you to work this company. Seriously, I'm you tried. So they good. won't hire me. <laughs> you got a really good booking you idea. Do, you do. 
When I used to drink I the week of WrestleMania, I used to get like get drunk and apply to WrestleMania every year. Like I would apply to WWE every year during WrestleMania season. Nice. They never hired me. Yeah. yeah. Me either. Yes. I probably be on top enough. <laughs> True. I didn't go well. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is called the Sami Zayn is gonna die match. Gunther, Sami Zayn for the IC title. If Sami Zayn even makes it to this match, there could be a swerve going on here in some way, shape, or form. But from what we know right now, Gunther versus the lovable loser because we've got lovable loser Sami back in in what I think is going to be an absolute devastation. In some way, shape, or form. Sammy's going to make it look beautiful, but in my opinion, Gunther comes away with this. What do you got, Kay? I actually, I think Gunther's going to win. However, I don't think that he's going to absolutely annihilate Sammy. I think Sammy has a chance. I believe in him. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I had thought, I've been saying this all week, that I think Guther will drop in the near future and put, so they can, he can focus on the title picture. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that time is now. I'm just not sure when. So I think I'm going to say Guther's going to retain. Fair enough. Mance, what do you got? Uh, I really, really want this to be Brock Lesnar John Cena at SummerSlam. Uh, I just <laughs> just want, annihilation. After that whole video package of Sammy overcoming his get his fear and his doubt. I just want him to be murdered. Um <laughs> in a in a former timeline, I would think, oh, they set up for, for Chad Gable to screw over Sammy. I don't think that's what's gonna happen. I just want Gunther to kill Sammy, maybe kill Chad Gable on the way out again. Um 90 seconds. That's all this needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> well Terra Shock, how's your pizza? Uh, Chad Gable joins Imperium. You just took what Fred said. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I had it in my mind, though. Totally, I think it's going to happen. Ew. If it, if it goes 20 seconds, even better. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so Gunther wins that hands down. Next match on the card, we're go it's a lot of titles, which is what WrestleMania is supposed to be. But Logan Paul is going to get destroyed match. You got Logan Paul against... Kevin Owens, KO Mania is alive and well against Randy freaking Orton. I would be surprised myself if Logan Paul survived this Me oh, mentally or physically, which might be what? the reason. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Yeah. Um, no. He, yeah, he, he, he has oh, the sleeves ball. Not. Why? I'm going to go with my dumb Marky Hart and go with KO because I want the United States of Kevin Owens to return. <laughs> I want the face of America to come back so bad. Exactly. E exactly. So I'm going to go with KO. You got to give him something. And who knows what Logan Paul's going to do because Logan Paul does need to take time off at some point because, you know, he does a bunch of other stuff. Probably, you know, to support his brother, Jake Paul, who's going to get destroyed by Mike Tyson. Um, yes. <laughs> and I will buy that because I want to see that annihilation. I, yeah. I want to see somebody. I want to see somebody dumb enough to challenge Mike. And we found that person. <laughs> we found that person. So, so Will's going Logan Paul. I'm going KO. Who are you going with, Kayfabe? I was actually going with Randall. Ooh. I don't know. I would like to see him do something. I'm glad he's back. Yeah. And I just want it off Logan Paul. <laughs> fair, fair. He's rated a but 90 in the video game, by the way. That's crazy. Which is ridiculous. That, that's, <laughs> that's too much. Yeah. I will say, like, my official pick is Randy, but, like, my heart wants Face of America Kevin Owens. I, I, I totally get that. I totally understand uh, Mance, who do you got here? Logan Paul. Um, not cleanly, mm -hmm. as he never does. Um, but th there's going to be brass knuckles. There's going to be prime spit in the eyes. There's going to be KSI. There might be Jake Paul. There are other YouTubers. Uh, Markiplier, maybe. I don't know. Uh, somebody's going to... Oh my gosh, Phil DeFranco with a chair. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but... Logan Paul is going to come out of this by the skin of his teeth, and then we're going to set up for Logan Paul versus LA Knight at uh, Saudi Arabia, which is or no Berlin. What, what's next? Uh backlash Berlin? in France. France. 
Oh. Yeah, that works. Yeah, Backlash in France is the next but one. Yeah, Logan Paul. That's my official pick. Fair, fair, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. I will say this. KSI takes a great uh, RKO. The, the, <laughs> he gets really, in there for his buddy and dies over and over. He did a really good job. I hope he gets paid well by Logan Paul. Uh, moving on to... I am surprised this isn't kicking off the show. Because this is classic kick off a show with Calamity. The six-pack ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. You have a lot of people doing their first WrestleManias, which is absurd. You got The New Day. You have Judgment Day in Priest and Balor. You have DIY going to their first WrestleMania. You have Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate, the new Catch Republic, doing their first WrestleMania. You have Grayson Waller doing his first WrestleMania after being called up in less than a year with Austin Theory. And then you have Miz and R-Truth. Um, in who whatever WrestleMania this is. Here's the stipulation. Here's the interesting stipulation with this. Michael Cole said this on Raw. Both titles will be hung in the air, and the match doesn't end until both titles are taken off of the rungs. So be very be very that. clear of that. You could have two winners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could have two winners of this of this event, of this match. Yeah, I was going to ask. So say Say um, Awesome Truth takes down the Red Belts. Does that mean the match continues, but they don't rejoin the match? They can still take no, it. They, they can still take it. You, they could take the Blue Belts as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we could have a essentially a split decision in here. I'm just excited because DIY has been wrestling for almost, it feels like 20 years now, and mm-hmm. they finally got their moment. Pete Dunn and Tyler Bay, we've all seen grow up. <laughs> you know, and they're finally getting their moment. I hope in my heart of hearts, just for the night, we hear Biggie announce the new day come out. That's all I want from this match. Oh, please. <laughs> I think they would do that. I, f- I feel like it's the right time. Biggie's been hinting at it in due time that he'll like, you know, they're leaving it up to him. I think you just hear the voice. You hear his voice scream from the speakers. Ah, oh, Philadelphia. Exactly. I think that would be a really cool moment. I'm interested to see what Johnny, what superhero Johnny Gargano is going to come out to, or going to be wearing. Uh, you know, they need to be a pair, pair of superheroes. Uh, Batman and Robin. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, uh, I, I, we are I, not doing Bat Family. <laughs> Dude, they came out the DX theme. Come on, <laughs> it's for, just they, for they, our they, troops. They, sake. Come <laughs> they come out of the DX tank. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, I, I honest, this is, I don't know. It's one of those matches where I don't know and I don't care, <laughs> you know, cause it's going to be a demolition derby regardless. Uh, but for the sake of it, number one, I'm going to say the titles are split. Priest and Balor don't win this. DIY takes one. And I think they're going to go to DIY for raw and Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate for SmackDown. New catch Republic. That's what that's gonna be my mm. first, we're gonna split the titles. DIY goes to Raw, New Catch Republic, Pete Dunn and Tyler Bay take it for SmackDown. That's my pick DIY, too. DIY gets both of them. That would be an interesting call. Okay. That's a big one. I think I think they, they they're gonna uh get new belts. It's gonna be one I pair of belts. So. Not two Could be that. Um I think back to the last time we had a tag team championship ladder match at in front of a crowd at WrestleMania. That was in Florida for 33. What are you talking about? They made events in last, last year. No, ladder match. Oh, yeah. Florida for 33 when, uh, when the Hardy Boys the Hardys. came back and I became a schoolgirl for five minutes. Yes, I did too. <laughs> but I, was I thought the Hardy Boys were going to come back this year, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. Is there a team out there that is a, a recently free agent that could show up as a surprise seventh team? Wait, I want to see, see Will's face. I'm going to call it, because it's been hinted at before, Motor City Motor Machine, City Machine Guns. Guns. Hell be- yeah. <laughs> um, now, I'm not going to base my pick off that, yeah. because that would be ridiculous. DIY is my Raw team. My SmackDown team is A-Town Down Under. Um, <laughs> I forgot I think that. You, That's I good. Think, That's really I good. I think you want <laughs> heel tag teams on at least one uh, champs on at least one of the sides. So... A, and then you can have the Brits chase them on SmackDown. So DIY, A-Town Down Under are my picks. K-Fabe, who you got? 
Um, for Raw, I would pick DIY, but I wouldn't be upset if Awesome Truth won. And for SmackDown, I pick uh, Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Right. And my ultimate fantasy pick is that one of the teams, preferably Grayson Waller, gets knocked out and the Hardy Boys come in instead. <laughs> Listen, if we're talking ultimate fantasies, I want this company to hire James Storm and beer money comes out and be his credit. Oh, but, God. Oh, Will will oh, lose God. his mind. <laughs> I would absolutely, I would go buy beer with money. You it's, co- it's a contactless stadium, time. Will. Sorry. Uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Beer money would be absolutely wild. That would be Love such it. a swerve. I got to see. So I, I've, I've, I've got to see beer money versus Motor City Machine Guns ultimate x wow um we were in florida and we went to universal for a day and they were tape they, they happened to be taping impact and we went and that was the best match of the three hours i was there and then the sandman spit beer on me all right so that, hey. that's yeah. that was oh god that was 15 years ago <laughs> they, they, they're, hey listen you, you're not a true fan unless spit, sandman spits on you so there's that there you go yeah there you go Moving on, uh, brother versus brother for the third time in the history of WrestleMania, Jay Uso, who is probably about to be accompanied by Little Wayne, which is absurd in this moment in in wrestling history, versus Jay his versus Jay Uso, the battle of Yeet versus No Yeet. So the big question is: Are you Yeet or are you are you No Yeet? For me, I'm a Team Yeet person. I think it's going to be great. And fuck you, son. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> 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 so, are you also going Jay? <laughs> no, I'm gonna go Jimmy. Okay. I don't think Jay needs it. Jimmy really. Jimmy needs, needs it. something. <laughs> Jimmy needs something. Uh, Kayfabe. Yeah. Um, I am Team Fuck You Slack, and I am also Team Eat. <laughs> so Jay, so it is. Okay, I don't know if you. I I don't know if you stepped away, but I talked earlier about watching Jay Uso go to his first hockey game ever. I saw he went with CM Punk. You have to watch the video, K. Okay? There's a video? Yeah, it's, it, I'll send you a link, K. He is so high. He is so <laughs> high. He is that's, what I, so that's what high. I do at sporting events. He, he ate a pizza during the first intermission. He's like, I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, very good. Man, or no um, eat. Oh, okay. Uh, I am team fuck you sack. Um, Everyone is. But I am also team no yeet because in my head, every member of the bloodline wins this weekend. Except, except for Roman. Roman Reigns. Ooh. We create a power vacuum in the bloodline. Great. Great. And like, and J- Jay leaves this match on a stretcher. And that's <laughs> Jimmy and Solo's fault. Stretcher job, Jay. Goodness gracious. Ab- absolutely. Goodness. Listen, I've got, I would dude, if, I would I would do a stretcher job. Stone Cold only works if every if if Jay and Seth are dead and I'm working yeah. on Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Moving on to the TNA match of the night, AJ Styles versus LA Knight. A match because it's AJ Styles and because WrestleMania is going to be better than anybody needs it to be because AJ Styles in WrestleMania, he kind of does that. Look at his match with Shane McMahon at 33 in Orlando. No reason it should have been that good. You know, Shinsuke yeah. Nakamura as an argument. That was a great match. Shit, 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 you know, low blow finish, but great match. Um, <laughs> okay, I have different tastes, I guess. I did not care for that. But then again, maybe I was comparing it too hard to the New Japan. Everybody match. was. That's fair. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, AJ Styles is in his like loner TNA stage. LA Knight is being Eli Drake, obviously. Uh, AJ Styles has proven he can take a loss and still come out scot free because he's AJ flipping Styles. Um, so and you got you got to get LA Knight back on the right track. So I'm going LA Knight here. Yeah, I agree. It's like kind of like who cares? LA Knight wins. Kayfabe. I, I um this will most likely be my Ghost Mocha Blunt match. So I'm saying LA Knight. Okay, man. Uh I am saying LA Knight. Um I'd probably not smoke a blunt during this match. <laughs> I might make a sandwich. Um so it's a good sandwich but, match. <laughs> uh you know, this is this is bathroom break sandwich match and this is only here so we can get 80,000 people to go L A 
night. Yeah. There's going to be a and, lot of chance in wrestling. We got yeah, we got yeet, we got whoa, maybe a no yeet at some point. You're going to get some, you're going to get a what, you're going to get a die, Rocky die. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a lot of vocals. Lot, it's going to be a very yeah, vocal LA night. Yeah, LA night here. All right. Moving on to something that was recently announced on after SmackDown. We have the Team Bad 2.0. Bianca Belair, Naomi, the original member of Team Bad, and Jade Cargill versus the other members of, other members of Damage Control, Asuka, uh, King Kota, Dakota Kai, and Kyrie Sane. Six woman tag. Damage Control's losing a lot this this weekend. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damage Control's losing a lot this weekend. And it's because the biggest investment in modern WWE and Jade Cargill has to be made to look like a world beater. You don't sign this woman, essentially not bench her, but revamp her whole training and getting her TV ready and WWE ready to have her debut at the Rumble, to have her come out as essentially the savior at the end of SmackDown, main eventing that show, to then have her first real match at WrestleMania for her to lose. It is going to be Bianca, Naomi, and Jade beating damage control. And it's gonna be it's gonna be the Jade Cargill coming out party. And this is where Tony yeah. Khan will cry a lot. <laughs> he had a chance. He just he fucked up. Yeah. Uh yeah. Mance, what do you got? Yeah. Uh Jade pins Asuka. That's Ooh. my pick too. Ooh. That's a statement. <laughs> That's exactly my pick. That's, That's a statement I'm going to make. Statement. Oh my god. Yep, it oh, needs wow. to be done. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I. I'm. It makes sense to me. That's how. That's how you truly solidify Jade as like a you don't fuck with her. Yeah. Type yeah, talent. I, I've been like, here ten minutes. I beat Oscar. What are you gonna do? Yeah. That's fair. Like even like in AEW, she had like a fifty plus streak. They have to capitalize on a, that same momentum in WWE and beating Asuka, who had a, what was her streak? Like 300 something days? Try five. Or whatever. 500, 500 something. 500 something? Excuse me. Yeah. They have to establish the next woman that can have a streak like that. And I think it's Jade. Well, are you going for the full sweep here? Yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Jade doesn't come in to lose. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. I want. She is clearly based off of Storm from the X Men, in look, yeah. in look, and in theme music. Um, I wanted to come out in Storm attire, like an X Men Storm it. attire. I think that would be yeah. it's per, it's set up for it. It is perfectly you know set what up. What happens when my toad gets struck by lightning? <laughs> Same thing as everything else. <laughs> <laughs> that is stupid. Listen, movie. listen. It was a bad line in a. In a pretty, pretty hist- in, in a, a really, really good, good movie, movie. yeah. No, because they they actually cut the, that in that scene they cut out part of it that actually makes the joke make more uh, sense. Where they just left in the bad joke. Listen, <laughs> Storm killed off Darth Maul because the guy who plays Toad is Darth Maul. Yeah, Darth Maul. <laughs> yeah, Toad murdered the fuck out of Darth Maul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it it works out, but I want to see Jade come out because X Men are hot right now. If anybody's seen the new animated series, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, so I want to see her come out of Storm because I think it plays perfect to it. And everybody, Jade Cargo came out of She Hulk during an AEW event. Like she, she loves the nerd shit. So it's good. God, Bianca, come, Bianca comes out as well. <laughs> it'd be cute if they all did a different, like a uh, different X Men or Marvel character. That would be that would be unreal. Naomi could do Rogue. Naomi would be a great. Rogue. She'd be a fun Rogue. She also, but I mean, just with with. Uh, sorry, let me let my nerd flag fly here for a second. Please. Um, just based on her glow entrance and powers of the X-Men, Jubilee actually makes a lot more sense. Yes, absolutely. Her as Jubilee would be amazing. That'd be really good. That'd be really awesome. I can nerd. Sorry, had to, <laughs> had to let that fly up. I, I listen, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Let's move on to matches that were just actually announced very recently <laughs> at SmackDown. Um, the Lutz, it's... It's the Battle of the Luchas. Um, Dragon Lee, again, making his WrestleMania debut after getting called up to the main to the main roster 
in very sparing instances. Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio versus Santos making his WrestleMania debut versus Dirty Dom Mysterio. There's something weird going on here, too. This is going to be one of the catalysts why Damage Control is going to get a lot of weird shit happening. It's a very interesting match, obviously, for WrestleMania first for a lot of these performers, uh, for Dragon Lee and Santos. They're slow burning Santos, I really hope. Uh, but I think, I don't know if Dom ever beats his father until they do a final one on one and Dom retires Ray. So I, I, agree. I think Dragon Lee and Ray take this one. Will Tarasak, what do you got? God, I don't want you to be right, but you're probably right. Because <laughs> I'm a big fan of both Dom and Santos. I love Santos. I think Santos is amazing. Yeah. He's just, he's Andrade and Del Rio, just but way, way better. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So you're going with Dragon Lee and Ray? <sighs> yeah, I think, yeah. I think that makes more sense. Okay, Fabe. Because I thought Dom should have won last year, but he didn't, and it didn't do anything to him. So what's, him losing this match means nothing in the long run. I agree. Uh, Ray and Dragon Lee are winning. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of lucha shit, yeah. man. As, as I've already said, everyone in the Judgment Day loses except for Mommy this weekend. So, yeah, mm-hmm. Ray and Dragon Lee. I just, part of me thinks, why would this be Andrade with Dom? But if they're going to lose, that makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. There, there, there's some there's some interesting stuff going on over there. Is Andrade's not a heel though? Andrade's right? a mercenary he, he a at this point. Andrade's wandering around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's why they didn't do I know Santos deserves a spot because he worked yeah. hard for it. Andrade yeah, so there's that. And finally, finally, finally. A match that should be a freaking pre-show match, if I'm being completely honest with you, if they still did pre-show matches, yeah. which they do not. Uh, the Street Profits, as no one wants to call them the pride, the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley versus the Final Testament Cross and AOP. This is a, hey, well, let's go get a beer match <laughs> um, after the entrances. Yeah, man, like, they they really tried with Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits, and I don't know why it's not clicking. Because they... They've gotten they've gotten pretty good TV yeah, time. Yeah, it's you know what it is. It's um, it's just I think they 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 took away from the Street Profits character too much to assimilate with Bobby, and it doesn't work. See, I don't I don't think they did it enough. You oh, like, you want like I a don't complete know. overhaul? I agree with that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they kind of you know they just they just tipped it. Yeah, they did just the tip it. You know, so Fred is saying this might be a Philadelphia street fight, which might make this a lot more interesting. It is a Philly street fight. They, yeah, they they need they need yeah. a gimmick. They need they need we need disaster. Because, we need disaster and chaos. Yeah, that, that, that that's the only way it can yeah. be good, and that's and that's the only way that uh, Bobby Lashley can actually win this. Yeah, thing. Cross's first Cross's first Mania, AOP's first Mania. Now that their you know visas or green cards or whatever are are fixed for them, so good for them. Uh this Karen Cross answers is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, um, I will tell you that. But I think in the end. Dude, Karen Cross comes from the middle of the ramp, all right? He's going to pull the entrance. <laughs> Let's be they, real, they, all right? They bring him in on one of those moving moving vehicles. <laughs> yeah. like you know, I actually like that they did that. Not everyone got a full ramp entrance. A lot of these fucking assholes came from the middle, middle of the ramp. Oh, okay. He said, "Go, just yeah, walk just down." Because the ramp is so long. Yeah, and who knows how long this ramp is going to be, or how elevated that stage is going to be as well. So it's going to be really interesting. Yeah, uh, to be. But yeah, I think I think Bobby and the Prophets win. Yeah, just I agree. because. Yeah, Mance. I don't care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> listen, you got Mance. two Same. great singles wrestlers. You got one great tag team. You got the AOP, which can be great, but I don't care. They Philly Street Fight or not, they could they would have to go full stadium stampede on this to make me care. This is my other night getting a sandwich match. Uh, but for the sake of it, let's I'm gonna go with the heels, carrying cross and uh the OP. Yes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the final match on the WrestleMania card. We have made it, we made it close, close to the end. The final thing to do is how good will the quote unquote Greatest wrestling, biggest WrestleMania of all time, not greatest, the biggest WrestleMania of all time, be as they've as they've done the stick. One being the worst thing in the world, which I find that really hard to be. Ten being the greatest thing of all time. Got an argument if, if a lot of things come into play. Mance, you are the guest. How well, how good do you think this WrestleMania will be compared to the 39 other ones that have happened? 
<laughs> well, compared to some of the other ones. Um, eight and one half crowns. Oh, uh, you're daving it? <laughs> yes. Uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, fair. fair. Um, I call Dave would do de- eight and one half. Yeah, he yeah. Said uh, Dave would do decimal points. I take that back. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 He would do like eight point three yeah. seven. <laughs> yeah. Eight, yeah. eight and a half. Eight, um, with the possibility of going better, depending on how the main event of night two ends. Hmm. Hmm. It's, it's a good point. But it's, it's solid. It's one of the more solid medias in a while, and I truly believe the old man is not calling the shots anymore. So there's a chance it'll actually make sense and be good. Fair, fair enough. Will Tarshuk. Yeah, I'm gonna go ten. I expect ten. It's WrestleMania. WrestleMania forty, nonetheless. So if this show isn't a ten, I'm gonna be disappointed. Mm-hmm. So I, it's gonna be a ten. Okay. Okay. So fun. Um, I pretty much refuse to give any show a ten because I don't believe we can ever get a ten. But I am willing to give it like a nine point five. Fair. I think it's gonna be sick. Very fair, very fair. I'm going to go with nine because I want to leave room for improvement. And there's also probably some room where we're going to be disappointed. The thing that people have to realize about WrestleMania itself is WrestleMania is not for the hardcore fan. Mm -hmm. You have Mm -hmm. to be aware of that going into the show, especially if you're in the arena. WrestleMania, if you are a hardcore wrestling fan, watch week in and week out, or maybe also do a podcast periodically, you're not going to get everything you want because it's not made for you. It is made for the unwashed masses that don't consistently watch the product, and it's there to draw other people in. So there's going to be a lot of pop and circumstance. You are going to get a good wrestling match, but a lot of it is going to be star studded on purpose because that's what makes wrestlemania wrestlemania it brings in the casuals and makes people think oh this is really entertaining i know people who aren't wrestling fans who are going to go to bars to watch night one and night two it's there to lure everybody else in and get with the virus that is being a wrestling fan with that being said there's a lot of great stuff that's going to happen at this wrestlemania i'm very excited however something wonky is always going to be might happen and you got to leave room for that so i'm going to go with nine Solid. Where does Shane McMahon pop up this year? <laughs> On the stretcher. <laughs> Shane, McMahon, Shane, McMahon gets, Shane McMahon gets brought in via an ambulance. Like He's <laughs> he's going to ring the opening bell at night. <laughs> <laughs> They're stock, dude, up to 90 bucks. There you go. The WrestleMania's quite early this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Uh, last but not least, a little housekeeping uh, stuff at the end here. Um, we are moving officially to Tuesdays two weeks after... Uh, a, a week after WrestleMania. So it says in two weeks from now, we'll be Tuesdays permanently from here on out. I'm giving us two weeks because, yeah, we because we're going to yeah. need it. <laughs> we're going to need it. But we are permanently moving to Tuesday, streaming live, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Some people call it X. I will not. That's where you will see us from here on out. And judging by the amount of people watching this, Tuesday seems to be a good idea. For, for for us to do that. So we are going to catch us on Tuesdays in two weeks uh, on at 8 o'clock. This is a special start time because WrestleMania is such a big, magnanimous event. So with that being said, first and foremost, Mance Chapel, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back for the one podcast that you probably do one oh, yeah. podcast a year. Yeah, it is fantastic. Uh, I, I know you were I know you were trying to make it for WrestleMania, but you 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 weren't able to do so. Um okay. But life is uh, life. Life is life. In. For, away from it. Yes. Life is life. In. Uh, my son's birthday is this weekend. And actually, my son's birthday is Saturday night. So I'm watching both WrestleManias on Sunday. So wow. Um, <laughs> wow. What a day. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up. I'm going to make breakfast. I'm going to watch all of one. I'm going to have a nap. And I'm going to watch two. That's a smart uh, move. That's a smart <laughs> move. That's a sm- Stay off yes, Twitter. Please, please do. But, Mance, any final words? Yeah. The floor is yours, sir. Uh. I miss podcasting, but I don't miss enough to do it every week. I love being here. I love all of you here. Uh, and, and for the first time in a long time, I am excited for WrestleMania without being there. And so let's all have a good weekend. If you want to check me out uh, at Emin Delight on uh, Emin underscore Delight on Twitter at Emin Delight on TikTok, I've made one TikTok in the calendar year 
of 2024, but I promise I'll make at least six more if you follow me. <laughs> it might get banned, so you might want to hold yeah, off on that. You know. <laughs> hey, hey, and if Mike Tyson keeps putting up Brady videos, I'll keep tell, talking about how he's going to kill Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that works out. So, yes, with that being said, we will return on Tuesdays in two weeks. And with that being said, well, do you remember the buttons for the outro music? Do not play Chris you. Jericho. I found it. I, I, I queued it up. I'm not playing Chris Jericho. Don't worry. Although, maybe I will. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Wow. What a tease. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>listening to kings of the rings podcast episode number 371 with wiz is the official title of this that's a philly reference for all you guys uh our official wrestlemania super show the biggest and longest show that we do every year i am your host king ricky rose you can find me at ambassador biggs across all social media outlets i'm kind of there again b-i-g-z ambassador biggs find kings of the rings podcast at k-o-t-r underscore podcast across all social media outlets like share subscribe leave us five star reviews the links to all of that are in the description below if you're listening to us you're obviously listening to us on WrestleAddict Radio, the cure for the common wrestling podcast. And follow WrestleAddict Radio socials at addict underscore wrestle on Twitter and wrestle. Addict Radio everywhere else. The links to all of that, including some of our fantastic merch, and to our growing Discord family, are in the link below. Now I've got a pack for WrestleMania. Will Terrashock. Fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing that tomorrow, man. I'm not doing that today. Not a goddamn chance. But I am Will Tarish, like T's and Thomas, A R A S H U K. This ain't the only podcast I'm associated with. If you are a fan of Nerf Blasters, no, I'm not kidding you. Nerf Blasters, foam flinging, whatever you want to call it. My new, my new show. Uh, that I'm working with is called the World Foam Alliance. We are live every Wednesday night. A big reason why we are moving to Tuesday yes, night is so I can I can keep doing that. You don't see me on camera. I'm behind the scenes, and it's a live call-in show. So you get to ask whatever question you've ever wanted to ask a Nerf pro. <laughs> so honestly, it's a lot. It's a lot more fun than I thought it would be. <laughs> so we just got monetized. So go give us a sub and support the fan. And Last but certainly not least, the EST of KOTR back, I think, on a more permanent basis now. Yay, Kayfabe. Yay, Yay we're going to be recording on a day I'm not working. You're welcome. So that will be fun for me. Thank <laughs> you, thank you. Um, the edibles hit, so I'm going to bed like <laughs> right after you this. Um, I'm fucking tired. Y'all. I understand. I, I go back to. I have work in the morning. The edible has hit, and you can find me on Instagram and TikTok uh, as kfabe k underscore fabe. Um, back to you guys. I have nothing. <laughs> it just hits you. I saw it in your face. It literally just hits you. That was brilliant. That was I need to go. Here we go. <laughs> Later, K. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back in two weeks on our new night of Tuesday nights at 8, we're going to probably maybe have half a voice. The fallout from WrestleMania. Um the fallout from the raw after wrestlemania we might be salting a lot of earth with burberry scarves after wrestlemania maybe no (laughs) maybe um (laughs) there's going to be a lot of weird stuff that we're going to be talking about a lot of crazy stuff that's going to happen but the only thing that's not crazy is the one thing's going to stay the same whether we're on wednesdays or tuesdays or sundays or mondays that slack is still the bitch of a of a podcast fuck you slack goodbye good night and see you after WrestleMania. Perfect, perfect. K, we will see you later. I didn't even put you on the I didn't later, even put Kay. you on the post show screen so it works out. Bye, K. Night, K. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, Ricky, I'm actually gonna hop too. I gotta uh, be up early. Fair tomorrow. enough. So, Mance, do you want to stay, or do we can just shoot the, shoot the ship for a while, or we can we can nerd out for a minute? Uh, is this is this go- is this going up? It uh, is gonna. We're, we're still Thursday? gonna stay on Thursday, so I'll have a day to edit all of this stuff. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna do that tomorrow Fair enough. too. Just let me know what's uploaded because I do want to get it up and ready before we leave on Thursday.
Yeah, I'll do it. I go into the city around. Yeah, I'll do it the first that thing. That works for me. Man, Shabba, do you want to stick around for a while? Or? Uh, I've been up since 445 this morning. Oh, I'm yeah, you, you need to go. You need to go. So we're just going to oh, go yeah. real quick right now. This has been the quickest post show ever <laughs> by, all, by, by everybody here at KOTR. But thank you guys for sticking with us. And thank you guys uh, for, for joining us for this really, really long show. Very, very much appreciated. Goodbye. Good night. And we will see you after WrestleMania. Midnight music.